there's three reasons for me that I think are warranted for crashing out. One of them is <laughs> if I ever come home into my house and I don't have a bed. <laughs> <laughs> so if I walk into my home, I walk into my room, I had a long day. I'm like, finally, <laughs> AC's on. Drop my bag and I'm about to sit on my bed and it's not there. <laughs> like I'm talking like the bed frame is there. But the, the no box mattress? the box board is right, but the mattress is gone. <laughs> the pillows are gone. So what are you doing in that instance? Breaking stuff? I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably throwing my backpack as hard as I can at the wall. <laughs> I don't care if my la- anything's in there. I'm fucking like what the f-? and then beaming at. <clears throat> nice. Um, what is it? What was that move? Move called? This? Yeah. What is that? That's that that drop. The that drop? came after the nene though. He's the oh yeah, hit that drop and then yeah, yeah, yeah. dang, yeah. that's some terrible. We had some terrible dance moves back in the day. I was, n- I was nice with that shit though. You used to hit that like ah, uh, I think you used to tall to hit that. I would hit it, but as a joke, niggas see I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> like, you just hit that shit. Like, niggas looking at just. I used to I used to hit the whip as a joke. Nah, I wouldn't hit the whip. I wouldn't hit the whip. No, nah, I used to hit the, the I whip. Hit the, always felt ass. I hit the whip when I trip. <laughs> so oh, like, what are you oh. Sh- yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah. on, that's hard, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, I, would oh. I would do that too. I would do that Come too. Come on, bro. But yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number 144. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. Post notification if you love the channel or if you're just watching us, you know, if you want to see us every day. We got a lot of good things to talk about today. I got my brother Tyrone here with me. Yeah, top op. You know what I'm saying? The biggest op. If you have something, you got contraband, don't be by him because you are going to jail immediately. Ah. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of good things to talk about hoodlums. in the pod. Wait, you said ho- hoodlums? I hate hoodlums. Why you say it like that? Like, them hood monkeys? I hate them. The hood monkeys is crazy. Take that how you want to. <laughs> so it's like, not the hood monkeys. Like, but you know. like I said, we got a lot of good things to talk about. We're talking about, we got some scandals to talk about with the NBA. We got some NBA stuff to talk about. Mm-hmm. I got some, Ty got some stuff with freaking places in the United States that we're going to talk about that's dirty as hell. Mm-hmm. We got things to talk about with the feds. Yeah, Ty, top- we got Top three reasons to crash out. Of course. Yeah. You know, I got to talk about the CIA and why we shouldn't trust the government, even though Tyrone loves the government. Great people. But we're going to discuss all that today. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, post notifications if you're new. Subscribe to our Patreon. We got new episodes coming uh, every two weeks. So, there's not going to be one this week. Or there might be one this week. Who knows? But tune into that. And, yeah. So, first, we're going to talk about, Ty, we're going to talk about, have you seen what's going on with Michael Porter Jr.'s little brother, bro? Yo, bro. <laughs> what is going on? Bro, do you see the shit that came out today? Yes. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Bro, so hold on. Let me go to exactly what nigga sent today. So I'm about to read the headline, right? Yep. Right. Breaking. Two individuals have been arrested for conspiring to defraud a sports betting company. Mm-hmm. One of the individuals placed a 80K parlay on the under of John Tay Porter's points, rebounds, assists, threes, steals, and blocks <laughs> on the same game that... John Tay Porter intentionally took himself's unders and subbed out early. Mm. So, first of all, this man doesn't get that much PT. Exactly. So, <laughs> it, for me, it's like, all right, he doesn't get that much PT, but now you're taking the unders? Yes. And then not only that, 80K? You're making it mad obvious. I don't care how much bread I got, but it was 80K to win a mil. Yes. So, I'm not going to lie, that's bready, but... That's Max. Especially if he took it too. Yeah. Yeah, you're on, you're under investigation, buddy. But <laughs> did you also see what's going on? They caught the dude at the airport. What? So supposedly they caught this guy in the airport from I think on at JFK. Okay. They arrested him. He had twelve thousand dollars in cash in his bag and eighty thousand dollars worth of like like tickets or whatever. Not like tickets, but you know, like you know when you go to a casino they give you like money cash. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, eighty thousand uh, yeah. dollars worth of that and a one way ticket to Australia. So he was fleeing the country. So now they have to look into it, be like, why look are you at all his tickets and shit? See yeah, what? now they're gonna because he's he's linked with the whole like investigation. With, yeah, he was the one he was one of the guys betting, like I guess one of his friends. And they caught him before and he they left. They caught him before he left. But it's like, why are you fleeing the country? You leave him with that much cash you're cooked, bro. And but what they think is going on is that they they don't think uh they think Jante, whatever his people's, they weren't like betting on the main sports apps. They was betting with bad people. And they were trying to pay off a debt. That's why they kept betting all the unders on them. And now they're about to get murked. Bro. Oh, like they owed money to somebody. Yes. So now they got to do it. They're saying this might be like a Rico case or something. What the fuck was Jonte Porter into? I have no clue, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, think, I, I think I saw somewhere it was like Jonte Porter. He um 
he got so it was like they did something and he had to keep betting and all the money he would earn mm -hmm. he would send he'd have to give to them because yeah. he owed the money mm -hmm. but my thing is you're on an NBA contract exactly how much money but then even the people you're with you're getting less money like you getting caught like you could be more you could be so much smarter than that why would you use your name I don't get what they're doing like if you're gonna bet and you're in the A yo just tell your boy yo just place mad bread bro yeah just say, say, put bread on it bro but like, like what are you doing they make it so obvious this is what I think happened right mm -hmm. I think one of his boys, you're right, made a bet with like some bad people, and now, like, oh. I guess he's in debt, and like, oh, like a like told the guy like put this on Jante or some yeah, shit. Yeah, either that or on right. some on something else, maybe another sport. So right. he's in debt. That's why he did that whole scandal with Jante and stuff right. to like make that money back to pay off this guy. Because maybe he's in like maybe millions of dollars worth of debt. And because he's trying to flee the country, nobody just takes a one way ticket. No, yeah, with straight cash. Yes, bro. cooking twelve no, k. Nobody, yo, bro, nobody take a one-way trip across the country, cuz. I'm not gonna lie. And straight to Australia, that's not like you're going to Canada. Yeah, bro, you're going across well, I the I could hop in my cop car and come cook you. But like, I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder what called him. Maybe it was just like he had all that bread nah, on him. Nah, because you probably get flagged, so you go through the um the gates and shit. Yeah. And then you have a duffel bag or suitcase. Yeah. And you have a whole bunch of ca cash, you're getting flagged. Because uh, no one travels with that much cash. Yeah, It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. who you are. You could be freaking, Bill like... Gates. Now, if you're Bill Gates, they may be like, all right, well, why are you traveling with this cash? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then, all right, well, you're Bill Gates. You're a billionaire. Go. Makes sense. But if you're you right. do it, they're going to be like, what are you doing oh, with this? Your bank account doesn't even have this twin. <laughs> Come with me. No, I you're almost done. had almost 100K on him, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. He could have, he could have found a way around that, not to go with all that cash, bro. Yeah, like bro, maybe like, 10K, you would be able to go with, but 100K. You, you think yeah. you can mail it? Is that possible? Or are they going to flag that also? You might be able to, but the U.S. Postal Service is technically your work for the federal government if you work for the uh, U.S. Postal Service. Really? I'm yeah. thinking, like, what? Like, how would you do that? Maybe you send it by freight? No, nah, not freight. freight In a to box. Train. Yeah, like a box across the ocean, but it might not get there. But who's taking that trip? You, you have money to make sure it gets there mailed. Yeah. You can do it, like a discreet box or have somebody. I don't know. You can figure it out. Or he could have freaking it? wired it somewhere. Somebody texted you? Yeah, I'm looking at, wait, like I said, does this place have a good box? What are we talking about? Huh? Because we're about to go to the bar to watch the game. Yeah. The NBA game today? The finals? What does he mean my box? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's over. Anyways, we got to make a group lay. So when they start dropping their parlays in before yeah. the game start, oh, yeah. I got to put them in before the game start type shit. Oh, that's so fine. I'm watching to see if they put their legs in, but they ain't put their legs in. All right, bad, bad. But yeah, yeah, But cool. that's, uh, when I seen that, I'm like, hold on, bro. Now it's Me personally, and you know what I wish? Like, personally, right? <laughs> I would have, if say they would allow you to bet on D3 Sports. Yeah. Oh, my God. We've been up. <laughs> my unders are winning. I'm telling you right now. Fuck all that. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm telling, yo. They're like, yo, even if I'm starting. And like, yo, you ever say you need to win this game. This is a playoff game. <laughs> but I'm playing D3. I <laughs> promise you right now. Look, I got you. I'm going to play. And he's going to be like, hey, bro, your unders are plus money. Like, it's mad bread. Easily putting, I'll easily be like, <laughs> my take out a loan and shit. I'm telling all my homies, I will sell today. I won't score. I won't <laughs> score. I won't get a single bucket. I promise you. Maybe in the final, yeah. I might hit one bucket. That's it. That's probably why they don't do that. Yeah. Do they have it for D2 sports? Nah, I don't think they have it for D2. I think it's only D D1. High level D ones too. Like no N N A I A or whatever. Nah, they don't have them either. I think they may they might have it in mid majors though. D ones, right? Yeah. D1's yeah, I think the, yeah mid major D ones. Like the yeah. HBCUs and stuff. They have them for those, yeah. All the mid majors they have them for D ones. Yeah. Dang, Mary yeah. would not find me. I promise you, I'm putting my unders on everything. I think I'll put my unders and drop out. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put mad bread on it though. I'm, I'm not put putting like, my bread. That's what I'm saying. You could I could easily, I would literally tell my homies, hey bro, just put bread on this. Yeah. Like when I'm gonna send you bread when it hit, give me my bread and you get half, bro. Like. We about to be up right now. It's easy, bro. I don't know how niggas don't lock in. Bro. That's definitely why they don't have it in D three though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many, too many uh, niggas in Newark and niggas in Jersey City. Yeah, you letting them have an opportunity to make more money off themselves? Come on, bro. You're cooked. Well, we got people that are doing drugs. You're. <laughs> I'm not saying names, but they do drugs. I'm saying, bro. Before the games, so Burring. so no, it's like that's like, gonna be <laughs> like, bro. This this it's, it's like all all. All else fails, bro. Or it's home free in D three, bro. D three, no D two. There's a little bit more structure, 
But maybe depends my, where. Depends yeah, where. You get lucky. Like around here, not really. It's nah. really the same thing. Nah, yeah. You Honestly, know where you're over here, D three is better than D two. Yeah, he's... just not by like maybe not talent wise is kind of the same. Yeah, really depends what school you at. Like if you're at like, I don't want to disrespect niggas, but if you're at like, uh, um, what's that booty ass school, bro? I'm forgetting the name. Dominic? Oh, uh, uh, Bloomfield. Well, not nah, Bloomfield. They're they're pretty good. I'm saying the D three. Like if you're at a, oh. bad th- I'm thinking about. Camden? I was about to say Drew, but Drew's all right. They're okay. Rutgers Camden, you're big. Fair, fairly Dickinson. Yeah, if you're at the D three FD, FDU, you're extremely booked. You're yeah. cooked. You're you're, you're really bad. Don't even. Yeah, don't like even. honestly, like freaking like schools like Rowan, bro. I never realized how much Rowan wins. Like if you look at the NJ, right. bro, should be giving me mad. Bro, if you look at the NJAC like Instagram page, it's all Rowan. Yeah, they just yeah they run everything, bro. Track they have like. Four All American teams. Yeah, that's crazy. They're really, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but okay. why are they? Why are they here? Why are they just be, bro? There was, I remember. I think it was my senior year. They almost won every sport. In the in uh, they won the, they almost won the NJAC every sport. They won soccer. They won both soccer. They won both basketballs. I just I don't think they won softball or baseball. <sighs> like they came up short. I think they lost to that's Mark max. Clear. That's max. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like. This is it's OD. It's nice. And they have the dirtiest uniforms, the dirtiest colors, the dirtiest They're, freaking... No, I'm not like, their campus ain't any lit. It looked cool. Campus, no, it looked kind of cool, though. I don't like it, personally. It looks cool. I think it's pretty mid. Okay, it's just because it's a big it's a big school where there's nothing around it. Like, there's literally nothing I feel like on school. the campus is pretty mid, too, though. Really? Not, it don't feel that big to me. It looks like... I've, I'm thinking, like, it's like a... I always thought it was like a huge campus. I heard there's like a strip. Like, it's like kind of huge. Maybe I haven't been to the main part of campus. Like, but where their gym is, the gym is small as hell. That's what I'm saying. The gym mid. That's what I'm saying. The, the gym is mid. Like, how why, you, yeah, how yeah. you not have no bread to fit, get a new gym? Come on. Y'all win all the time. Like, y'all win everything. Y'all can't get a new gym. Y'all can't get new weights. Y'all can't get new colors or a new mascot. New Who's, weight rooms and shit. Exactly, yeah. bro. Uh, locker rooms, yeah. Like, hey, it's man, I only knew about that because I remember, I don't know if you told me about that. I heard about, like, in at Rowan, they did, like, the little hazing thing. Like, with the, I guess they have cues down there. Oh, shit, no, that's not me. I think so. I think they have, I don't know, I forgot who told me. They have cues down there, and, like, one of the initiations, they put them in, like, like dog crates, and they put them on the strip, and they ha- they have people, like, pour stuff on them. No, I didn't know that, but that, for but hours. that, that makes sense, though. Wait, I'll, they sit in the dog crate? Yes, for hours, and, while people pour stuff on them. As initiation, this is so. St- I'll tell you right now, under no circumstances, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And what? the underwear too. There's nothing that can make me do that. No, nah, yeah, nah, nothing no, in this world, bro. Nothing I'll be in. in no, nah, I won't be in the dog crate. I'm nah. pussy. Hey, no, no, nah, nah, you cool, bro. You you smart man. I would never do that shit. But what did you want to talk about with the? So I was gonna say. I had, wait, I had an idea. Yeah. Or not an idea, or what I thought would be a good idea for life. Because there's so many people that are getting divorces and breakups and shit like that. Yeah. People are indecisive. Uh-huh. Right? Signing, or not signing, like marriages. Because you know you have to like, when you get married, you sign a contract. Yeah. And when you get married, you have to go to church and all that. You get it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Having NBA contract marriages. So, how would that work? So, for example, I meet this girl. I'm like, yo, I love her. You know what? <laughs> you go sign her on a 10 I'm a signer for, I'm a signer for two years. <laughs> <laughs> two years. She's gonna get a yeah. She's gonna get a. She's gonna get a medium contract for two years. A medium. Okay. So what is that contract? So or right, the contract would just be marriage. Not oh. even like it was max contract or not. Yeah. But two two years is like a medium contract. Like I'm alright, cool. So you're here for the length. Then after two years, you can upgrade. It's so you're automatically the marriage ends. Yeah. So if two years you're like, nah, this wasn't working out. It's not like, oh, we have to get a divorce and we lose all this stuff. It's just like, all right, contract. our contract went off. Like, all right. Well, <laughs> it was a great marriage, you know. Then you could be like, nah, I'm going to sign her for a four-year max. Like, let's get her <laughs> let's get her for five. You know what I'm saying? This is the one. You get yeah. her for five more. Contract comes to the end. And you're like, damn, I'm not going to lie. You've been blowing my shit these last three. You're cooked. <laughs> I'm about to go get You're not getting signed? Yeah, you're not getting we're not we're not gonna resign you. Okay, so is the males only giving out contracts or do the women's also give out I contracts? I think like a mutual thing. So like cause like when you sign a contract, you're signing to be with the team. Yeah. And then the team also wants you. So it's mutual. You both sign the contract. Okay. And so, it's like we're signing, we're gonna lock in for a year. I think that's a tremendous idea. You think so? If I decide cause then a lot of time it gets rid of the hassle of like, all right, now we have to get a divorce. Nah. If we don't, if we get, God forbid, say the girl cheat on you in year two, I'll just wait for the contract to end. To be over? <laughs> I'll wait for the contract to end, bro. You're cooked. I'm not resigning. That's kind of smart, though. I won't resign. 
And if you want to be with them forever, you could sign into a Patrick Mahomes 10 years. I'll sign you to a 10 year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then if you know you're going to get remarried, oh yeah, when the contract oh, renew done, your contract. We're going to renew that shit. Like another a, another 10. Like how they be with like a, like extinction, contract and, extinction. Exactly. And you could put in the contract like, "All right, I'm going to put a prenup." So like, feel me? Uh, I got bread. I don't want you stealing my bread once the contract up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or we're going to live with each other for the first two and then the last two we're not. Whatever, we're going to have this. We're going to try to have a kid here. We're not if we have a kid. You know what I'm saying? You could put that stuff in the contract. That's kind of so. You know that work in, that work in China. What? <laughs> China, wait, what do you mean? That work in China. Why, why China? You I feel racist? Like in, no, I feel like in China or is it China? No, no. Yeah, in China or maybe like the Muslim con- countries or India, they always have like the spouses chosen for you. Most of the time. Oh, yeah, they, you know yeah, 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 So it's right always there. like, you're going to be with this person. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're just, uh, I don't know racist? why you chose, like, <laughs> why did you choose China? Because I thought China has a lot of people, so it's like. They have a lot of people, but that's not where they do it. They don't, <laughs> re- re- the prearranged marriages are in the Middle East. But like, you know, like, there's a lot of people there. I don't know if there's, like, what's the ratio between now, That'd women? be for kids, not for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> do they still do that? Yeah, they have, you can only have one child. No, nah, there's no way they do where they kill them, though. No, <laughs> like remember? No, you go to jail. Really? They're like, no, nah, you have to pay a fine and shit. Oh, okay, but if like, you have two kids. No, nah, I think they. Because I no, nah, they don't kill them. I think you go to Something happens. Bro, I I could have sworn in in like in in like social studies class they said like they used to put the they drown the kids in buckets. On everything I love, bro. Maybe in like seventeen oh two. It was like, bro. Maybe in fifteen. Ima- imagine that, that's why people was having like hidden uh, yeah, births. Genghis Khan probably did that shit, but not no. freaking. <laughs> it had to be like in the nineties, bro. No, yeah. they didn't do that in the nineties, bro. I think so. I promise you, they didn't drown kids in the nineties. Like there was like, oh, you got a baby? Get the baby. What? Let them watch. Get the bucket. You about to look it up? I'm looking it up. Right yeah, now, I'm bro. telling you, I don't I'm know, right cause now. I'm saying it's like, yo. Like I know you, I don't. I knew they used to tell us like all the Chinese people they only have one kid, and like I think they said if it was a girl you can have another one, but if you have a boy then you can't have another like kid. As long as you have a boy, then you only have one kid. One child policy officially program initiated in the late 1970s and early 80s by the central government of China. Mm-hmm. All right, now see if they they're dunking kids like nuggets. I want to see what happens. They dunking kids like nuggets, bro. Wait, it says, what happens if you have more than two in China? Families in China can now have as many children as they like without facing the Chinese government. Said there, before China's announcement, families can now have three children. That's it? Just yeah. three? <laughs> you were fined $12,000. Dang, per kid? And the amount of many times of your average annual income. Oh my Fines, gosh! Laws employment. I ain't gonna lie. Birth control must have been up over there. Were there were forced abortions. We mean forced. Like if you were pregnant again. Yeah. Like you had a kid already. And you were pregnant. You were forced into abortion. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but what they do? What do they do with the kid? Oh, loss of employment. They fire you from your job. Really? Yep. Um, that's kind of sick. Some people they just trying. Speaking of where they're having kids, um, they're looking for people to have kids in Japan. They have a low population. Do they really? So like, they want more people to have kids over there. So you can, so like you and Jake could go over there, have a kid, and he'll have citizenship. Really? Like yeah. off the rip? Yeah, they want kids. They need. They want kids. They're not Drake. They, what they want. <laughs> <laughs> what they want is they want like more like population to grow over there. So. Uh, yeah. You know what's gonna happen? There's gonna be mm-hmm. a lot of more black people. A lot more. Nah, people nah like black me. people don't have money. What's that supposed to mean? Like, they don't have money to travel all the way to Japan. That plane ticket, like, 2K. <laughs> they don't have money to go there, bro. Bro, you just take connecting flights. It's, it's still 2K, bro. You're nah, cooked. You go, you go from here Maybe 1,500. But they don't there. have the bread for that, bro. Think They're about cooked. it. All right, you know what you do? You just send your sperm out there. Sperm donors. Not Yeah, but it's not you now. What you mean? It's not the me. Kids not, they not doing that. Are they doing that? Name one black person who goes send that. You ain't, niggas ain't doing Look that Look at shit. Rui, bro. Rui Hachimura? Yeah. That's my dog. He's... <laughs> that is a black man speaking Japanese. <laughs> Come on, cuz. He's Japanese. I don't be black, bro. Nah, he's in the league, though. I he know. don't count. That's what I'm saying. That, bro, I'm telling yeah. you, all the people, all the Asian companies, they're going to start looking like me. Bro, look, look, I'm telling you right now, yo, Miss Universe was a Filipino girl, but she was black and Filipino. Yeah, but see, now, I'm see, telling you, Ty, black and Filipino, that's different because that truly doesn't count. 
Why is that not count? Because I'm being completely honest, it's basically the same shit. <laughs> what you Because I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Like, the Philippines, out of all the Eastern Asian, like, yes. uh, like uh, countries, countries, Filipino, like, is the close, not even closest. The closest. Culturally, they all do, at least in America, yeah. they do the same shit as niggas, bro. They, that is like, true. Like, that's what I'm saying. That is like, true. they do the same shit. I can say, like, no bullshit, like... <laughs> I don't really see much of a difference. Like, like it's it's lie. crazy. Filipinos are the least Asian, and I was gonna population. say they look the least Asian. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, they look more Spanish. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, they was conquered by the Spanish. They, like, what they, language do you guys speak? You speak Spanish, bro? It's like it's like it's called Tagalog, but it's like mixed. You, you with, speak it, bro? No, not at all. You understand it? No. <laughs> Nigga, be lost at the function. <laughs> oh yeah, when my parents are talking. Does your me, your mom uh, speak? Yeah. It? Okay. She speaks to understand like well, so like my grandfather he's getting old so like something like his English is was was better when I was a kid but it's starting to get broken now okay so he starts okay, okay. so he'll say something in English but then he'll start going into Gaga a little bit and I just okay. be like ah. hey yeah okay, okay and I just laugh at him. does your sister know it no that is, we that both are we are both Americanized yeah suck bro. black you, does your dad know it at all no we're hey, black he don't as, give a fuck about that. we are black <laughs> as ever bro we are he speaks so Jersey black. City he don't yeah, care bro. <laughs> but I'm saying bro yeah, it's, the black yo. We are the most furthest away from like Asians. Like, there's and, some people that look I, Asian. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, a lot of like, I mean, I I can tell like, all right, yeah, if this person is Asian, I'm like, I mean, me, cause just because like I like the culture, yeah. I can tell like what country most of the time. Mm-hmm. But normally, when I look at it, it's like, there's another thing. Filipinos, <laughs> always right. I've seen almost every Filipino that I know dates a black person, man or woman. Oh yeah, my Filipino. Like homies, the yeah. boys got a black girlfriend. Filipino girl homies have a black boyfriend. Yeah, it just happens, bro. It's crazy. So Filipino girls don't like Filipino Filipinos. Boys? No. Yeah, <laughs> they, they don't really. Like, bro, there's very few out there. Yeah, bro. They go for either. They go for a lot of white people, white yeah. people and black. Maybe black. But I told you, bro. I, did I never told you about my cousins in Oregon? How they look like me? What? What you mean? They all look like me, bro. I mean, they're your cousin. No, 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 no. I mean, like, like me, me, like. Oh, they, like light skin. They're black. Oh wait, all wait, of, all but of them are black. But they're, they're on your the Philippines. Yes, they're all. Oh, black. what the heck? Because I was like, wait, nigga, like, I'm bro, confused. Yeah, I have okay, an bro. aunt that married a black guy, and they look like Darius Watkins. They look like me. His name, the kid's name is Kingston. <laughs> I'm saying, like, look at these names, bro. Like That's Russell. A- like, I'm saying, like, we got like he's some, he's Russell some black is bad black. Guy. Yeah, I'm saying he's some and black. Russell guy. is so Filipino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I have a cousin out there. Like she or my uncle, my aunt. She married. She played softball at Texas Tech, okay. and she married a black guy. That kid, he's gonna be a D1 athlete. He's, the he's, dad's like six four. He's he's golden right now. Damn. I have another aunt who who had two kids with with a black dude. Is Brandon half black or no? No. He's the he, only one that I know double of. double Filipino? Yeah, he's the only one that I know of that Damn. is double Filipino. I have another cousin. She's half black and half white. Okay. okay. So, it's like... Okay, yeah, yeah We yeah. is not... We, yeah, yeah, I have yeah, very few... Like, yeah, 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 out yeah. of my family, I'll say 65% is black and Asian or white and Asian. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. It's never they, they double don't like, up. They don't like Asians, That's bro. what I said. I don't know. It's either they like... And even, even like I talked to um some of my... Like, I have a Chinese homie. And I was like... Because we were just talking about culture. She was like... She was like, oh, am I like your only Asian friend? I said, nah, bro, I got hell of them niggas, bro, chill. And then I showed her, she was like, are they Filipino? And she was like, they're, they're, they don't really count. <laughs> I was like, what, what you mean? And she was like, and she was like, she was like, it's like, yeah, because like they're really just black. And I was like, what you mean? Like, like culturally, the way like you feel me, everything's done. I'm like, all right. Think about it, they love basketball. We love basketball. Look, oh my God. They love Kobe Bryant. St- don't even get me fucking started. Like all Filipinos love, love basketball. basketball. Like they'll die over that. Yo, they will. They will, yo, yo, they will sell their kids to play in the NBA. I swear on everything I love, bro. Yo, Any I Filipino. Said, bro. I said it on like two pods already, bro. Y'all have a racist ass league where it's yeah. just Filipinos. Yeah. Like, oh, you're black, you can't join. You're white, you can't join. You no, gotta be you, Filipino. If, if you're black, oh, you're you have a little bit of Filipino. Okay, you, you can, can get play. in there. You gotta be. You gotta be in the bloodline, bro. It's you can, you can low key pass. Is a Filipino? Yeah, <laughs> like you can look at pass in the league. Like you just, I played in one. I told you I played in one with Russ. I know that was we so, lost though. I don't know. You Chino suck. was on my team. You suck. How they, you how you lose, bro? You lose, you lose the tallest person. Nah, because they wasn't one. passing me to rock. Like oh dang, it, bro, it was a Filipino tournament. They're, they're not, not about to, to give it to me. They're not used to you. They Chino and Russ were taking all the shots. Oh yeah, if they did, if they passed you the ball, they probably protested. Yeah, like, the first game they gave it to me. And like I had like eighteen or twenty. Yeah. Second game, it was straight. They're, they're getting all shots up. They don't give a damn about what I gotta do. Uh, why I'm here? They, they would have. They would have freaking protested you if yeah, you were like, stupid. What is doing? Yeah, they'd be like, what is he doing? Like, here? no, he can't play no more. 
No, they would be like, nah, he can't play. They'd be like, get him out. They're so hella bad. old heads, like just there to watch. Bro, they just be there. They got their jerseys on. They got knee pads in. Like they about to hoop. That's it's crazy, bro. It's Families so, all yeah. there. They're selling food. Yes, they're make, like yes, they're having a blast. Yes, it's like a like, party. I'm not gonna bro. lie. Like freaking uh, Russ hit a three. Crowd was bug. I'm like. This is more like the college. I told you. I'm like, bro. what is going on? Like, I, I felt the intensity in the crunch time. Literally felt the intensity. I'm like, this is tough, bro. I told you we played yeah. at Spooky Nook. We was in the finals. We played against some team in Canada. Y'all we, lost. Yes, bro. Yeah, yes, bro. bro, was it, bro? The man was wide open, top of the key, game tying three. And I was made it? and made it, bro. When I tell you, yo, everybody was watching the game. They was all around us. So, <gasps> you know, you know, you know, Coach Mike from St. Mary's. Yeah, he Filipino. He was there. Oh wait, no, I don't know. Coach Mike, you're talking about. All right, remember at St. Mary's JV coach, a little light skinned dude. He used to he used to he used to date that. Uh, yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Filipino yeah, and black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his cousin was on my team, but I didn't uh, know that was his cousin. And his dad played with my my uncle at NJCU. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So he was at the game. What the fuck? And I remember freaking there was a kid on uh on the team we was playing. He played in the Philippines. He was OD nice. Like he was he was shooting pull up jumps. His name was Jalen Green or. No, 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 no. His Same name was, I forgot what his name was. <laughs> Russ had beef with him too. Like, it was crazy. He was shooting mad. Like, he, he had like hit like two threes in my mitt. I'm mm, like, dang, it was crazy. Yeah, mid. But like, guard up, Nick. I was like, all right, I'm not going to let this man shoot. I ran him off the line perfectly, bro. <laughs> but somebody switched and didn't call switch. And the guy was wide open, drilled it, bro. I wanted to cry. Yeah, communication <laughs> with the basketball. Yeah, bro. And then we lost. And it's like, mad jumping. They're never. Oh, yeah, never they love like it, it, bro. They, they sell food. They make sure you, they make sure you eat. Don't eat. Don't. I never eat though because yeah, eat every time much. they eat, they always cramp up. They be like, yeah. ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. They literally be cramping. Like yeah. I don't know why they, they ha, eat too much. Bro. Do they be having cramp? Like, do you see people have cramps when you? Yeah, they playing? did. It was, it was like two people. They like ah, my cat. Oh, it was yeah, always in the stop. calves. Yeah, they they, they roll the ankle. They dehydrated and shit. I'm like, yo, y'all good? Like even like that's you see Russ. They get Russ was cramping up OD this season. He was cramping up. He, Russ cramped up at the game. Bro, it's just how it is, bro. Yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah. I got black in me. I don't cramp, bro. He's, he's cramp. I don't, I don't do I don't that cramping cramp, cramp stuff. Bro. It don't happen. But bro. hey, man, the Filipino tour is always good, but it'd be a little too intense. How far is the Philippines from Japan? Do you know? Uh, it's pretty close. Like maybe like an hour and a half. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's pretty close. Wait, how far is it from Taiwan? How far is Japan from Taiwan? I don't know. Oh no, it might be longer. No, maybe. Taiwan is like forty-five. Okay, so it might be like two Taiwan, and a half Taiwan, Taiwan. because I know Ty, we went to Taiwan. It was two two and a half hours. You've been to the Philippine, Philippines before? Yeah. How many times? Once. Damn. I might go back this year though. Take Jay over there. Russ might be going over there. Russ goes there all the time. Yeah, he's going home, bro. I know. Like he goes. There, <laughs> like, he's been there maybe like four or five times. I'm like, that's yeah. a cr-. and like you can't go to long ass flight, bro. You can't go to the Philippines for like a week. You gotta go there at yeah. minimum two. Yeah, yeah. Minimum I was gonna two. say. Yeah, how long is that flight? It's like eighteen, right? Uh, we did a connecting flight, so we went from. Newark to Alaska, so that was tw- that was like ten, okay. and then from Alaska to the Philippines took fourteen. No, no, Alaska to Taiwan took fourteen to fifteen, and then from Taiwan to uh, Philippines was like two hours. So we was on a plane for a day, bro, a whole Max. day. My dad hated it. He, he, <laughs> he hated it, bro. Fucking fed up, bro. He it was, was tired of that shit, <laughs> bro. That now that fifteen hour flight on a plane, bro. I don't remember how it was because I was a kid. I was like eight. So like you know when you're a kid, time yeah, yeah. goes by fast. You go to sleep. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. like yo. I remember all I remember I watched like maybe like two to four to six movies, bro. I watched a whole season of a show. You got to, bro. Like fifteen hours on f- in the air is Too how's nice. that even possible? Like think about it now, it kind of scares me. Yeah, <laughs> like yo, nice. but I'll go back though. I gotta t- I gotta bring Jay over there. Yeah, no, you gotta go over there. I wanna I wanna go down there. So next year I'm going to uh, Japan for sure though. Oh really? Yeah. You gonna go with Definitely. your brother? Nah, uh, he is it next year? It might be next year, April or two years. Dang, how old is my... I don't know how old these niggas are, bro. It might be next year. Is he 30? My No, my, my nephew and them. Oh, oh, oh. Because they have this cultural thing they're, where they turn the... When boys turn three, when girls turn five, and it just so happened the boys three and Can five go- at the same time. Yeah. They have to do this ceremony shit mm. in Japan, so they're going to go back for that, and I want to go too. That's tough. Yeah. I'm That's tough. I was going to say, Jap- Japanese culture is pretty, like... I want to. It's pretty cool. Samurai. Yeah. What the? What does that mean? I said samurai. Oh, I was like, I was. Well, I said it like, <laughs> when kind of Japanese. Movie. Yes, I know. <laughs> like, and yeah. we gotta. We need to start taking some notes from them because that's why Japanese people live longer. I don't know if you're a peep. Like the Asian people, they always live longer. They may be a little uh, short. Yeah. They may be a little. Now nah, they, they eat healthier. They eat. They fresh. eat healthier. They do. They. Yeah, they and eat they mad seafood and they. Yeah, they they, they walk, walk everywhere. And they're always like, they're never fat, bro. You know who also walks everywhere? Indian people. 
Yeah. In Jersey, they walk around like a bunch of rats, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, they should be walking around. Like, I don't think, nah, that's a bad term to use. They, also, rats. they also don't wear socks. Yeah. They always like wear they slippers. Wear slippers with no socks, toes out. Yeah, and just walking everywhere. Yeah, like, Joel pulls up to my crib with, like, slides and no socks. Yeah, no, that's a bad, it's that's, weird. that's bad, bad, it's, bad feats. Literally drives, drives with no fucking socks on. Yeah, no, I don't like I, that. I, I'm, be honest with you, I think that's, that's a crime. That's a crime. If you're dry, if you can drive a car with no socks on, you're weird. Yeah, you're, you're come on. Granted. All right, what type of flip flops are we talking? Are we talking about the ones with the like, Adidas. Oh, I'm thinking about the you know the flip flops where it oh it the divides toe your shit? toes. Yeah, that's still a sell. Yeah, that's nah, still that's a crime. crazy. You shouldn't have that. Both of them is still a, like, what are you doing? Like, with I mean, no maybe, socks. Maybe they just want to have their feet air out. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. They air out. Just put the sock on. Bro. That's all I'm saying. It's I don't weird. know. I don't like it, bro. I can't respect it. I don't like it. That doesn't make any sense, bro. But are you ready to go into the next topic, my brother? Yes, sir. So, people, we got this one topic that we've been asked for almost a year and a half, man. I've seen your comments, my brother. But I'm sorry, but we just never had the time to. So, shout out to you, my brother Kim, if you're watching this. We're finally doing your topic that you asked us to do forever. So, we are doing a five-on-five basketball game. We, me and Tyrone picked our teams already. So it's a five-on-five basketball game. W- winner take all. Marvel versus DC. I got team Marvel. Tyrone got team DC. And we're going to argue who got the better team. I'm about to cook him because he really don't know who I got. So do you want to give up your team first? Or do you want me to go first? So I got to put stipulation. Yeah. No flight. Because that's, that's not yeah, basketball. Anymore. That's not basketball. We're talking about So if they can basketball. fly, they can't fly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Ba- okay. We're yeah, talking yeah. about they hooping. For, yeah, they're hooping. They can use their other powers. Yeah, they can use other, but like, obviously it's not like shooting. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, but there's no flight. Like, yeah, the no flight. flight. Is, they is can't it. just like, that's travel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's <a> travel. <laughs> so, flight and teleportation is, yeah, is yeah. cooked. All right, yeah. cool. So you want Means go- of travel powers is, is, is yeah. cooked. Okay, cool. Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? Go first, bro. All right, I'm going to go first. So I'm going to start off with my coaching staff. So for my coaches, I'm going with Captain America and and Professor X. Cooked. Right? At the point guard position, I'm picking Spider-Man. You know, he got the agility. He from the... Where are you from? Queens. He from Queens. He from the he from New York, bro. He, so he's seen people hoop. So he got the agility. He's he got Brooklyn, all that. Anything, right? No, no, that's Captain America from Brooklyn. Okay. okay. So he from Queens. He got all the hooping skills. I got Spider Man at the one. At the two, I got I needed a shooter, and I got one. I, if this wasn't basketball, I wasn't picking him ever. <laughs> one of the greatest shooters. I got Hawkeye. The goat. We're talking <laughs> about he's a shooter. <laughs> the goat, yeah. If he can, if he can, the goat. If he can calculate the trajectory of an arrow, he can calculate the trajectory of a basketball mm-hmm. to go into the hoop. Now, at my three, I need a lockdown defender. Mm-hmm. Athleticism. Mm-hmm. I got Black Panther. Mm-hmm. You got speed, strength, agility, all of that. He's locked. He's literally Kawhi Leonard. That's literally the claw. He got claws. That is the claw. Okay. Okay. At the four, I got my stretch four. Literally. Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> literally. Stretch four. That is from he, three. He, he weak as hell. But go ahead. He can lay it up from three. Literally. Like <laughs> Jordan. And that's a three pointer. He, he weak as hell, right? He, that's a travel. But, but like <laughs> ultimate rim protection. I could have went double double bigs, but I was like, nah, let me let me tweak. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> but at my center, of course I got the Hulk. You know, I got the bruiser down the middle. He got he can jump out the gym, lock down the defender. Nobody's touching him in the paint. He's really prime Shaq. So who you got, brother? Yeah, you're cooked, bro. Hey, so hey, so we starting off, right? You know, I got listen, we talking about coach. You know, we got a game tomorrow. That means he has what? Prep time. <laughs> Listen, bro. I got Batman at coach. Him and Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter read minds. He's locked in. He's too focused. Wow. He could tell, hey, Bat, guess what? They about to do this. He's like, I prepared for that already, bro. Don't even worry about that. Cooked. Okay. Automatic. So we're up. Then you got... So I'm going small ball here. Okay. We're going small ball. Am I one? We got the flash. This is for fast break purposes. We get a board, we throw it. You're not catching the fastest man ever on the break. Layup in the half court. Backdoor cuts cooked. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, flash. We don't need him to operate for real because the coach is gonna put schemes together. All right. Mm-hmm. Now at the two, shooter, green arrow. You know that. We both got shooters. Okay. I don't need him to do nothing but just sit in the wing, sit in the corner, catch and let go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, at the three, yeah, I need somebody who's going to be able to slash, penetrate, get to the rack yeah. whenever he can. He's too strong for 
anybody really. All the athleticism shit don't mean nothing. Superman, it's cooked. He's too he's too ock. He's not flying, but he's getting you're not gonna just he he's really a big he's really a small big, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah, mad yeah. strong. He's okay. slashing. Okay. He's like Braun for real, if you really think about it. And <laughs> he can see everything. But now Okay. At my four, go to Aquaman. Now you lost me. See, now I'm cooking. I told you niggas I'm going to small ball, right? Straight water. He's not missing no shots, bro. <laughs> I try to tell you, bro. Yo. Aquaman is shooting straight water. He's not missing no shots. So Aquaman, we get not only for shooting, yeah. but he's also strong as hell. Okay. So we can get boards. He's gonna play defense mm-hmm. and he's locked in. He's always hydrated. He's gonna be <laughs> a, he's the he's in more shape than anybody. Him, Superman in more shape. Okay. He they're just running. They're running. This is my four I got my four man running the break, not tired. You tired on the court, it don't even you fill somebody up with some water. <laughs> You're straight, bro. Too locked in. And at my five, like I said, I'm going small ball. I got cyborg. Cyborg. Oh yeah, cook. See, yeah. people are people are not locked in. The Hulk being at the five, he got the strength. You feel yeah. me? He got the the bronze. It's not about the bronze, it's about the brains. He's going to shot go up. He got to calculate. All right, so it's going to hit there. It's going to bounce over here. He knows that's the key to rebounding. That's why Andre Drummond was so good at rebounding. He knew where the ball was going to go. <laughs> it's not the fact that I got to be stronger than him, which he is strong. Yeah. It's, oh, it's about, it's about to bounce to the right. Boom. He's going to get there first, snag it, and then calculate. I see the flash running at 100 million miles per hour. Let me throw it right there. Boom. He's going to catch it. Layup. There's no way to stop the game plan. And by the way, Batman told me that shit. So, <laughs> we're, yeah, it's, it's too easy, bro. You done here? Yeah. Come on, let me cook you, bro. Because <laughs> there's no way. All right? The Flash, you got it. For fast break purposes, we're not catching him. He's, he's, he's but best. our front court, Mr. Fantastic, we got length. Literally length. It can go anywhere. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> he get, he, any shot, he's grabbing the board or he's blocking the shot. You're not making no he's layups. Weak. He's weak. What's the weakness got to be? It, Wemby's not only weak. that, we shooting threes because he's we don't li- need that, bro. He's literally Wemby, but he's blocking. That. He's slow, bro. He's, he's literally Wemby. He's slow. times a thousand. He's not gonna get down there. He's slow, bro. Bro, he don't even need. Okay, bet he don't need to get down there. We got Hulk is running down there, p- pinning that. <laughs> so Ro- Hulk is coming down, and we got Black Panther coming down, pinning that also. You can't. He can't p- pin okay. Superman. It's, okay, the Hulk can. <laughs> this is, look, this is what I'm saying. Black Panther's literally like our Drew Holiday. He's just a, he's the stopper. Because he's dark skin. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because he's dark skin and because he's a good defender. Look at him. He got the athleticism and the heart of Wakanda. You need the fans are gonna be busting. He's gonna have this. The, he's gonna have the stands buzzing. He's gonna have the stands buzzing. We got Spider Man. They go and love him over there. He's a little. He's gonna man. hold it down, bro. He ain't holding shit down. And bro. I ain't gonna lie, our coaching staff is a little bit better than yours, bro. No, no, it is impo- that's physically impossible. Batman is the ultimate prep time. But guy. Batman doesn't know how to work with a team. That's what we have Martian Manhunter for. We're Gucci, bro. But I have two guys. I and got I got someone that can read your mind, so he can. So my guy can read your mind too. Martian Manhunter read my mind. Well, Professor bro. X can control the Hulk, and then I got <laughs> Captain America to bring everybody together. Like when if y'all going to run, time out. Coach Carter. Speech right there. Now we're Batman. Now, don't need to bring them together. This we got Superman. He's on the floor. Batman is here's the game plan, fellas. We're gonna do this. You guys got it. Everybody just listen to him. He don't have to work <laughs> with them. You have to listen to him. They gonna listen and get it done. Nah, bro. I'm telling Cooked. you. If you got and we got our two. Look, if we go point guard to point guard, you got it because he's faster. That's Whatever. <laughs> That's cool. He he might travel though, so that it, might be a thing. Nah, he's not. There's gonna no way you could dribble that fast. He can. There's no way you could dribble at the speed of light. Nah, he's running the break. Catch one, two, lay. <laughs> okay, like, okay, yeah. okay. Our twos are de- are literally the same thing. Yeah, Shooters same exactly. in the corner, just say spot same up in the corner, exactly, whatever. Yeah. Our threes, Black Panther against Superman. Superman, he's cooling. Not Superman, he's too strong for the Black Panther. But that's fine. That's like Luca against freaking literally Drew Holiday. That's not that bad. Luca won that. Okay, but it's like. As long as you can stop, you're not gonna stop Superman indefinitely, but you just gotta yeah. keep him under. That's why you got he's the back line, him. guys. Okay, Mister Fantastic is cooking Aquaman. I'll give you Aquaman. I mean, I'll give you Fantastic over Aquaman. He's locking that up for real. But we're spacing the floor here. Just because he's water, so don't mean he got late. that water. No, bro. he really got Pause. that water. You just said it. He got that water. <laughs> <laughs> he got that shit on him, bro. He just because he lives in water, don't mean he can shoot threes. Nah, he can shoot, bro. You see how he looked? Ock as hell. He's 
Like, think about it. He lives in water. And he's hydrated. When I think of people living in water, I think of swimmers and I think of surfers. I think of surfers playing basketball. He's never they not suck. running a break. He's never not running oh, a break. He's not tired. But like, think he's about he getting... needs water. So he's going to, if we play. He's going to have water. He can create that. We playing right? in Phoenix. He's done. <laughs> We're not playing in Phoenix. Where are we playing at? <laughs> Atlantis? Yeah. I'm telling you, we, we play, play in the ocean, bro. We play, we play in Denver. He's cooked. <laughs> Literally. He can't breathe. He might be, bro. And then the centers. Come on, bro. Cyborg getting munched, bro. <laughs> he's get he's get he's food, bro. Nah, you get more boards, but nah, you won't even he's gonna know where the board is going, bro. Hey, people, let us know in the comments who y'all think got a better list. Put it down in the comments below. I think my list is better. But I got another question to ask you, Ty, that goes with basketball. So I have so these players are playing mm-hmm. a king the king uh these players are playing a king of the hell, one v one tournament. Who who are your who are you betting your life on? Four dribbles max. Alright? Mm-hmm. We got MJ, Kobe, LeBron, K D. Who you who you going for? You're playing a four v four, you said? No, uh King of the Hell. First one uh first one of seven wins. MJ, Bron, Kobe, K D. Bron. Bron's, I don't think Bron's winning that. I'm not going to lie. How the fuck wouldn't he Four do? dribbles? I don't think he's winning that. Oh, the king of court, you mean? King of the court, yeah. I uh, said king of the hell. King of court, he's... How does he not win this? First of all... Yeah, I don't he's, see... He's the... Defensive MJ wise, doesn't win it. That's a game. No, game. MJ's not winning that. No. I think it's either Bron or Kevin. That's what I'm saying. I think Kevin Durant going to win. Kevin weighs just like less than me. What's that supposed to do with him? He's seven foot. He's shooting over that. That doesn't... Ma- one dribble pull up shooting over LeBron, bro. You you could try that shit, but like six, eight to seven foot ain't that deep, bro. Bro, that's not only that, LeBron, you, you just play enough pressure, you're not gonna be able to get the ball up, bro. But I'm saying You're not gonna pass him, he's more athletic. Who? Bron. I mean, in the all right, we're talking in the primes, Katie's giving Bron a good bucket, bro. He'll give him a bucket or two. Yes. But Bron is going to the rack and not <laughs> missing. You can't I think Katie can't guard Bron. It's just impossible. Okay. Four dribbles max. LeBron gonna do like two dribbles baseline and do a pump fake. I don't think he's making that shot. He's doing two dribble baseline, shoulder in his chest, going through him and dunking it. Nah, I don't think so. He LeBron used to throw dudes. Yeah, but like, that's in a half court. <gasps> that's in a half court set. Now he got limited dribbles. I haven't seen Yeah, half court set. LeBron in a half court set doesn't take more than four dribbles unless he's like breaking a guy down. Have you seen LeBron play one on one? Yeah. Like King Court. I never seen him play King Court. Better King-Kor. than you, bro. I seen him. Do it. Uh, yo, <laughs> like one away. Have you seen KD play one on one, bro? Yeah. No, you never. But seen in KD the Team USA one. thing, I know yeah. you've seen that. I know you've seen that. Look, I got him. I got him, bro. That Team USA freaking one on one when he was. I cooking seen Bron play one on one against Shaq. You, you do just hear what you just said, Shaq. What is that going to do? Shaq way more than KD. I'm trying, bro, I'm the weight don't say. mean nothing. We're not and playing. He was getting football. all layups. He was getting all layups. I'm saying the weight means everything when you drive to the rack. <laughs> like if you try but, to go through somebody that way more, you bounce off than him. But, but Bron go through him. But dunk. Katie got the like he got the long arms where he can still block. That him. don't mean nothing. Once you flying back like this, you can't block no shot. Why do you think I don't get no blocks? He gets blocks. That uh, he uh, he gets blocks from the help side. It's one on one now. All right. So what where would you rank all these four players? Like the it'll be um, most like uh, how they gonna win? Like L- most Lagoat, Daddy Bron, James. Okay. Whatever he just said that. Okay. Kevin. And then Kobe and then MJ. MJ last? MJ last, bro. Why? Because he can't shoot three? Kobe has... Yeah, that's one. But then also Kobe... Kobe has more of a... I'm like more of a... Um, in my opinion, more of a drive to like... I'm not going to lose this shit. So Michael Jordan doesn't have that? So he doesn't have it, but Kobe has it more. More of it? Yeah, Kobe has it more. I don't know. I think and Kobe Michael, can shoot. I feel like Michael Jordan doesn't like looking ass. He doesn't like looking ass, but he looked ass before. Oh, well, yeah, has it? Yeah. The, what? the Dan Marley on the Heat cooked the fuck out of him. Gave him, gave him 50. <laughs> and he didn't do nothing. Not Dan Marley. It was a different shooting guard. Talking about the Sun? Chapman. Oh, Re- Rex, Rex Chapman. Chapman. Gave him 50. I forgot and about that. talked shit to him. A Called white him guy. a bum bitch. Yeah. But you know. <laughs> but you know MJ, oh, I'm sorry. Wow. Dang. Most of the time, Scottie Pippen guarded the best player also. Oh, so you can put that out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want people to know. Hey, another reason why MJ's a little overrated, bro. LeBron mid, bro. Hey, bro. I mean, not Bron. MJ mid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I, got another, I got another king of the court we could do. Mm-hmm. But I have the worst of all time. So, who are you betting your life on to win this win this king of the court? Kwame Brown, Big Baby Davis, Anthony Bennett, or Thanasis? 
Four dribbles max. Who's the first person? Kwame Brown. Who are you choosing? I already got my answer in my head. I think I already know. <laughs> this is a really bad one, bro. The Nassus. The Nassus? Nah, I'm not seeing Big Baby Davis, you know why he has that nickname? Why? Because he's fucking crying on the fucking court because I know. KG cursed him out. Well, I would cry too if KG yelled at me like I that. I would not cry if Kevin Durant <laughs> cursed me out. I mean, Kevin Garnett cursed me out. <laughs> um, Kwame Brown is also a crybaby, so he's not mentally tough enough. They're both not mentally, excuse me, not mentally tough enough to handle. Yeah. Um, How about Anthony Bennett? Anthony Bennett, is, he just doesn't have the skill or the heart to do it. <laughs> and so, Thanasis, no matter how ass he looks, he keeps he plays hard. <laughs> he gets mad as hell every time he even sees a basketball. But what does that do for you? It's about heart, bro. Like one, it, like I'm saying, I think Big Baby Davis could win that. I not seen even Big, a little bit. I seen Big Baby get a couple moves in. He's gonna dunk. get fouled by Thanasis, and then uh, what are you doing? And he's gonna be shut <laughs> up. And he and he start crying, and now he can't. He's but done. Big, he really a G though. Like nah, he was he was crying like yeah, Glenn. No, no, this was G said for him. <laughs> <laughs> he was crying because he was angry. Like you know, you angry, you cry like. Bro, I'm about to beat it. Like he started crying. That's why he wasn't crying because he was sad. You started crying? No, no, no. no. I don't he was care how like, mad you are. He's like, bro, I'm gonna beat this. Yeah, that means you're not mentally tough enough. You got that mad that you started tearing up? Nah, you gotta go ahead. But bro. you think the Nassus is more mentally tough? Way more. Nah, I don't think so. He grew up in the slums, bro. What that mean? Glenn Davis, bit, he did too. Nah, in Louisiana, like that's why he fat. No, but he was always good at basketball. The Nassus was never good at basketball. Oh, so he's just in there because his brother. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So he really made it off of hard work. And off of hard work. In being an enforcer, I don't think so, bro. I, yeah, I can't. The Nassus, bro. I can't see one go-to move the Nassus has. I can't see him with a with a between crossover. I can't see one I, move that gets the Nassus not to foul you or like lock you down. I mean, I think he. I think Big Baby can like get him in the post and body him a little. Nassus about to foul him. What that? He gonna eat that literally? No, he's gonna foul it. <laughs> he gonna eat that literally. He's gonna foul him. He's gonna cry. No, nah, I, I I got my money. I put my life on Big Baby Davis, bro. Shout out to the big babies, bro. The Nassus, thanks for sharing. That's what Giannis said. <laughs> wow. You got anything you want to talk about, brother? Um, Yes, I do. Um, oh my, I, I know how y'all feel with these lights. I haven't been here in a minute. Holy I got to get this lay in. Where's, where's Kenny? Oh, yeah. People, if y'all don't know, if y'all when y'all watch this, it's not going to be at that. It's not going to be this week. It's going to be whatever. So the finals is going to be going on. So who knows? The finals may be over or might be still going. Who y'all got in the comments? Put it down below. So Mavs and seven. Real quick, I wanted to say this. What are your top three reasons? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you mine first. But I have top three reasons to crash out. Uh-huh. Because let, let me just tell the people. Um, I don't know if people are using this term outside of Jersey, outside of the East Coast. But crashing out basically is you're doing the most. You lose your shit and you just start like tweaking. Tweaking like it's a different level though. Like crashing out isn't just crying because um, your girl got you mad. Crashing out is punching the window and then jumping out of it <laughs> because your girl got you mad. Yeah, doing too much for the occasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then also like that's warrant uh, jumping out of a window is never warranted. So I mean, <laughs> but like, Maybe. like I tried. So like punching a window would be warranted. Like if. I don't know, like, uh, you crazy. just lost your job. You know what I'm saying? That's not crashing out. That's warranted. Yeah. But if you punch a window because you lost in 2K, it's You're crashing, crashing out. out. Okay. You're crashing out. Good. That was a good description. I like you that. You feel me? So, top three reasons to crash. I don't think there's many reasons to crash out. Yeah. But there's, only, there's three reasons for me that I think are warranted for crashing out. Let me hear the reasons. And, all right, so one of them, which is absolutely absurd. But <laughs> if, so one of them is... If I ever come home into my house and I don't have a bed. <laughs> <laughs> so if I walk into my home, I walk into my room, I had a long day. I'm like, finally, <laughs> AC's on. Drop my bag and I'm about to sit on my bed and it's not there. <laughs> like I'm talking like the bed frame is there. But there's the no box, mattress. The box board is right. But the mattress is gone. <laughs> the pillows are gone. I'm going to crash out. 
What are you gonna After a long day, I'm gonna crash out. Like I don't have a couch either. Like there's nothing. Like nothing I'm gonna crash where out. Where you could com- be comfortable in. Yeah. Like I'm like so. How am I gonna? Say? And it like say it's like night. It's already ten o'clock. I can't like. There's nothing. Not much I could do now. <laughs> I have to sleep in the, and my blankets are gone. It's not like all right. I'll sleep on the floor. Or whatever. Oh my no. gosh. Now I have to be uncomfortable. I have no blankets. I'm cold as hell because I came from the heat. Now it's like come on, bro. Now I'm mad. So what are you doing in that instance? Breaking stuff? I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably throwing my backpack as hard as I can at the wall. <laughs> I don't care if my la- anything's in there. I'm fucking like what the f-? and then beaming that hoe, <laughs> and then I probably do that, and then like literally just stare at it for a second, get lost, <laughs> take a picture, and then I don't know. I, I really that's what I'm saying. I don't know what I do. I'd really fucking crash out there. <laughs> like if I walk in, I see no bed. Wow. <laughs> second second one is if I ever caught my girl doing the wrong thing on camera. What do you mean? Like. <laughs> Get like sucking meat uh, on camera. Okay, that, that's that's that's. I will crash out, crash out. Seeing videotape of that, yeah. crash out. Now I I, will, I might actually just snap my own neck. It just <laughs> it gets close to that. It gets, it gets close. What to if that. it was before you, and it just got? I'll loose. crash out, bro. Really? I don't want to see that shit. I'll crash out, bro. Dang. I'll crash out, bro. I don't care. Before me, I'll crash out. Okay, okay. Because it's like, bro, like, are that's you serious? Reasonable. Like, you're supposed. This was never supposed to happen. <laughs> like, why am I seeing this? Now the third one I have is. <laughs> Getting knocked onto the floor repeatedly without being able to get up. (laughs) So, for example, you ever been like a kid, like you're younger, yeah, and like your older cousins like push you to the ground. You're trying to get up, and they keep shoving you down. Yeah, like they'll push your hip, and you're falling. Yeah, and you're like, ah, you're about to get up and punch them, but they keep pushing you on the ground, (laughs) and they're not holding you. They just like every time you start to get up, you get shoved back down, and then you just like losing energy as you hit the floor, (laughs) and you're getting mad and tired at the same time. Yeah, so you're like, I'm gonna, bro, stop, right? You're like, you're getting mad. You're like, I'm about to knock you out, and like, yeah, I. (laughs) <laughs> you're pushed again if that happened to me as a grown man like I would like when I eventually get up I lose my shit like say they keep doing it to the point where they're able to get away from me oh my god! I'd like crash my car into a building <laughs> like I'd, I'd lose it I'd lose it bro no that's crazy like think about it that's the ultimate form of bullying that's what I'm saying like that's really crazy like you especially as a grown man like how strong is that dude that, like you can't get off the ground and he's not like holding you down or hurting just you like, get your you're ass not even in pain you're just like bro stop like bro like this is an inconvenience like, come on alright alright all right, bro Ch- bro please come on like, yo like come like, on alright bro alright yo yo suck him out the <laughs> like, there's nothing you can say, and he's just laughing at you, just like ah, yo, ah, you go on the floor, like you swipe his hands and try to get up, and he push you again, like it's OD, bro. Or imagine like three niggas yo. doing it, so it's three niggas all pushing you down. Yeah, you're cooked. Okay, all right, that's good. Now I got mine. I got mine. I just, I just thought of one. One, if somebody grabs my hair, like grips, like, that like shit. grips my hair, says yeah. <laughs> On everything, I, when my little cousins used to do that, I'd be wanting to you, you, like beat them up, like really, like I used to, like they not my family no more. Like they they're pillows and they like like I'm these fists are getting get the, When Hulk grabbed Loki and just start. yes, bro, that's how I wanted to do because they be tweaking, like spe- like they just be like grabbing like oh my gosh and like it's like when they when you when somebody grabs your hair like you're really helpless. Yeah, 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 because you're like you're just like like you can't move yeah. without your head. Yeah, and yeah, now yeah. they got your head. Yeah, 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 and like you can't do nothing now. Your neck hurt, and like you try to swing and they can just hold it like this, and it's it's oh my god that pisses me off. Od. Another one is if I'm being tickled too much. You know my oh. you know I I won't I, won't, I know your girl be tickling. Yeah, you, Yeah, she tickles me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> She tickles me a lot, and it it, 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 it sucks. <laughs> but you know what? I won't crash out on my girl because I tickle her back also. And she oh, crashes out on me. Oh, so <laughs> it gets worse. But if somebody, like, say if I'm being held down at my will, I'm getting tickled, yeah, like, at my feet. So nice. To the so point, when you were a kid, yeah, and you couldn't, and you're getting Oh, my tickled. God. Your dad used to tickle you when you was little, bro? Bro, not my, the, my cousins, older cousins. I used to get bullied These- by them. <laughs> they used to, like, I told my I told the story before. They used to say, like, racial slurs to me and, oh, like, yeah. take my pants. <laughs> Like, like they used to, they, yo, they stole my pants and locked me in the basement with all the girls. Like all the girls were downstairs in the basement, like, like having like a, yeah. having a grand old time, having a tea party and shit. Yeah, and then you just see my ass like get thrown in, like, hey, that's what. Yes. With no, with no I pants on, <laughs> you no pants, no pants on is crazy. 
I will never forget that, bro. Nah, I you were lame as hell, boy. Nah, they can't that's, be- that's, that's, that sucks. You're, that's the worst time of your life. I'll tell you, <laughs> that is the worst time of your life. I guarantee that. They like, can't beat me out, though. You're going to climb back up the steps yes, with no pay. Oh, come on. Like, help me out, bro. They're just all looking at me and laughing. Yeah, like, it sucked, bro. You lame as- Yeah, I, I like, would hate that, bro. I couldn't do nothing. I was like five. They were like 14. You know, you know what was another one? What? Getting, as a kid, getting put like in a headlock or held down and getting a noogie. Oh, I just hate getting nuggies, bro. Yeah, my uncle just give me nuggies. Cause like they hurt. Yeah, they didn't like tickle. They hurt, bro. Yeah, he just you know I come here. I'm like, ah, like, I'm like what is <laughs> why is this fun? Like I don't get it. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I'm tender headed now, bro. I'm thinking about it, right? Has, like I wonder who's who who got in a swirly. Like were you ever? What the fuck is a swirly? You know a swirly where they put your head in the toilet. Like you, no. <laughs> like you think that ever happened? Like people are talking about that, I used to be, I used to be afraid of that. Yo, that's not a reason to crash out. That's that's a reason to kill yourself. <laughs> I go like, yo, a swirly. You know how? Like I'm thinking about now. Yeah, like who? Who's the first nick? Who was the first nigga to go through this to where a route a writer was able to put that in a movie or a show? It had to be a serial killer. I, if so, I'm not gonna lie. There's no way somebody could put my head in the toilet. That's what I'm saying. Flush the toilet, and without me like finding them and like. Like at least even if I don't do break, something to them, like at least crashing out, like yeah, at least like, they wait, break why are you bringing me to the wait? Why am I going to the? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yo, just beat me up. Like why are you putting me in the? What the- like that's what I'm thinking. I'm like no, you had to, like bully that, that had to happen in, like the '90s. I think bullies gotten so like you like they got they yeah. got so like bored. They was like you know what? Let's put his head in the freaking toilet. <laughs> like let's go and then and then flush the toilet. You know what? You're in a tsunami. I'm and thinking a about it. One person couldn't do it. It had to be multiple people. I could see that happening, like four, like three people, like you yeah, lift them up. <laughs> oh my god! They swoop you by your legs. Other people holding your top side. Other people holding your arms. Yeah, and they just like put you head first into the toilet. Yeah. Hey, flush it! <laughs> and, uh, bro, you're literally drowning. You're actually that's like a terrible way of drowning. And like, like I like I used to be afraid of that in middle school. I used to afraid that was gonna, gonna happen. Get a swirly. Yeah, I thought I, was, I had to make sure I was cool. You th- I played basketball. <laughs> And play video games. That Yo, was good thought, enough. You thought Patrick Thomas was going to get you swirling? I don't know who. Somebody. <laughs> somebody was going to get you somebody older. Like, so I, I don't know swirling. who the hell was going to. Like, I was just nah, afraid that. Be. But I remember. No, I remember somebody, though. You you know you know who this is. It was that. You know, you remember. Uh, Ram Jai. You don't know. You know. Was he Catholic? About. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe. I, I seen him in church. Like, what is the that? hell? <laughs> Know he te- yo, how the hell I know he Catholic, bro? I might have CCD with him, bro. <laughs> what? He was the he was the Indian dude that smelled. Nah, I don't. and like in high Why school, I have to smell though. I'm sorry, he didn't smell, but he he took a dude on himself in seventh grade, and so now he smells for the rest of his life. No, no, like everybody remembered him from that. Like oh, he, oh like he asked the teacher, like can I use the bathroom? He's like, no, take your math test. He's like, I can't take it no more. And <laughs> I can't take, take the I can't take the <laughs> test. <laughs> I can't take it over and just let it rip. And then somebody's like, "What is that smell?" They had to leave the classroom. But you remember him, bro? Like he Yo. he wore he wore, he started wearing heels you in high school. A, you said it's a whole. He, li- he, he used to live by us. You just said, "Bro's full government too." <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. he started wearing heels in high school. This lame <laughs> let me, That's what you said. Let me um let me put that down as like what to take out. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but like I remember. Let me let me not let me not say his name again. There was another person in school who took his books. From his locker and putting in the toilet and peed and do- and doodled on it and flushed it down the toilet, which is crazy because you had to pay for them books. We put his books in the toilet. His textbooks, yeah. Why did he do that? He was a bully. Oh, did it to somebody else? Yeah, he did it to somebody else. Maximum, maximum. Creep. That's why, hey, people. I wonder if bullying is still a thing. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait. Are you putting your lays? Gotta cook in? the lays up. Hey, bro, Tom's cooking the lays. Why he's cooking the lays? We got a special commercial out for y'all. We'll be right back. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in. 
to see Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code no regulars at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N O R E G U L A R S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get we different than regular regular. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. And we're back. Welcome back, people. Tyron just had to put his lay in the in the for the game tonight. So yeah, bro, make some bread So we're here. talking about crashing out. So there's all the bullying is never good. But I wonder if bullying is still a thing now that technology is at its all time high and people don't really be in school often. I think I don't think it's that crazy. Bullying. You said it's not good. Why wouldn't it be good? Explain yourself. What do you mean? Why is it not good? You said bullying is never good. Why is it never good? I don't think it's good to pick on somebody. Nah, if you did, bro, if we didn't get bullied, we wouldn't be who people we are. That is true. People who didn't get bullied are either one of the two. They're either they're either bullies. Yeah. And they're like pieces of garbage. Yeah. Who are like menaces. Yeah. Or they're super pansies. Oh, they're like they're just they're soft. Yeah, they're soft. No edge. Okay. But when you get bullied, no matter how much it is, you get closer to that perfect spot. Where we're at. Exactly. Okay, but like, to, okay, to a certain extent of bullying, like, like laughing and joking and making fun of somebody, that's cool. Okay, I don't but know But it about feels it. like bullying in the beginning. Yeah, it feels like bullying. Like, first time anybody ever make fun of you, you do it. Oh, why would you say, why would you say I can't shoot? You know? <laughs> no, yeah, first time. You know what they should do? They should, like, the bully should bully the people they want to bully, but you got to be friends with them. Like, you could bully them one day, but then be like, hey, bro, you trying to get some lunch? That would be cool. But like, oh, you yeah. solved this out. Like, here, smack that was a uh, 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 Ryan Dose and Hansley. What? <laughs> they used to bully me in basketball and then practice over and I'd be like, yo, Ty, yo, what's your favorite subject in school, man? And I'm like, why are you talking to me? I can see Ryan. I don't know about Hansley. How the hell Hansley bully you? He would laugh with them. Oh, so like he counts, was, counts. I know what you mean. <laughs> that, like, like, the, like the Geo. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> if you make Geo, if you make Geo laugh, you win. Yeah, because he, you know, he got the uncontrollable at the he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you won, you won, you won. You won. He won stop. Hi, mom. <laughs> Can I get looks, some food? That looks scrumptious. <laughs> oh, thank you. Say absolutely no more. <laughs> <laughs> he hella excited. Oh, like, yes, yeah, sir. I think what is it? Steak and steak and onions with rice. Fried rice. I actually hate onions. Really? Yeah, with a burning passion. Like, like the that's the worst vegetable that you could possibly eat. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, okay. Dang. Uh, I'll you take eat, a point, though. You'll eat you eat Brussels sprouts over onions? Don't. I won't eat Brussels sprouts okay, for good. nothing. Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. Just make crazy just, work. Just making sure that we're yeah. on the same page. But I yeah, will not do that. I think bullying is needed to a certain extent because it helps you grow as a human being. Okay. But also, I feel like it it, it can't go to a point where now the kid want to kill himself. Now that's not where I want to go. Be, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Bully, but be friends with them. Now you're not a bully no more. You know what I'm saying? You can call them, oh, you stink. Oh, damn, you smell. Smack them over the head. But like, hey, bro, you trying to play basketball? You trying to come to my house play some 2K? That, that negates it. That's what I'm saying. Yes, right, right. So that's what I'm saying. That's a that's what I think is good for people. Okay. But hey, anyway, I, I got a thing that we could do, Ty. Okay, talk to me. So I have <laughs> uh, not really a gauntlet, but I have a tournament that we can do okay. to see... Who or what is the deadliest? Who are the deadliest warriors in history? Warriors. Oh, okay. okay. Warriors or people. So I got a I got a ranking system. So okay. we're gonna go on based on who we think could win in a fight. Okay. One or the other. So, oh, so first matchup we got the one seed versus the eight seed. Okay. One seeded Vikings versus eight seeded cavemen. Who is winning that matchup? Vikings cook. You think so? Cavemen. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. They barely. They just know how to make fire. And shit. Yeah, but I, but cavemen were like the Neanderthals were strong. pretty strong. Though. I was gonna say they're strong, but Vikings have like axes and bows yeah. and arrows. And they're like the more advanced versions of the, the cavemen. cavemen. Yeah. So I'll take I'll take Vikings in four. I take them. You in put the them one seed. seed. Yep, they're the one seed. I right? hope you have a certain certain person up here, a certain group of people, because I'm gonna cook you if you don't got them. But I, yeah, I think I do. Let's see. Let's see. All right, two versus seven. We got the Spartans versus the Knights. Knights in shining armor. Spartans. I take Spartans all day. Yeah, I think Spartans are kind of nuts. They they train like if you weren't born perfect, you died. Yeah, like they were the closest thing to like they were honestly considered like you know how in like with the the Invincible series like how Omni Man became Omni Man like you had to yeah. go kill everybody. That's what they did. Yeah, literally. They yeah, used to yeah. get hit with arrows and keep going. Yeah, they like 
Just fun. Like nothing stopped them they, from. They just they wanted to die in battle so bad. Exactly, and they didn't yeah. care. Like I, like knights. I feel like knights. They're just like the cops of the Middle Ages. Like they yeah, really like you could, cool. you could really beat the shit out of a knight. Take yeah. their armor off. That's knight what I'm saying. Kind of. They had just bread. Yeah, they were just rich. So the I, kings I, would give them hella armor and like I don't shit. feel like they were warriors. I just yeah. feel like they they look like warriors, but they weren't. They were like for show. Yeah, yeah. It was agree. really for show. But okay, we got the we got them out of there. So now we got the three versus the six seed. We got the samurai versus their cousin, the you, ninja. You did have them up there. I'm so glad. Yep. Uh, samurai. Samurai. Samurai, samurai over ninjas. Why? Why over ninjas though? Because samurai. Right, mm-hmm. so ninjas a little more discreet, but samurai, yeah, in terms of how they fight, like it's it's how you put it. Samurai know how to use all their weapons. Yeah, samurai are equipped with the katana. They're equipped with a small sword, a saber. They're equipped with knives, everything. Right. Yeah. Ninjas typically travel light. Uh huh. And then nin- ninjas also, I feel like samurai like ha- they samurais have armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninjas don't have armor. They're just basically built yeah, for like speed and yeah, ninjas. exactly. Yeah. So was ninjas a real thing? Were they really ninjas? Yeah, ninjas real. But okay. They're really for like stealing. Okay, so they for my opinion, I don't know. Let me know. But okay. yeah, like okay. ninjas. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I'll, I'll take, take samurai. Samurai in five. Samurai. And now the last matchup, we got four versus five seed. We got uh, U.S. Navy SEALs versus gladiators. U.S. Navy SEALs. U.S. Navy SEALs, really? Yes, yeah, like U.S. Navy SEALs. Why do you think that? Why do you think so? Uh, they're because they're they. Gladiators weren't necessarily always trained. They're usually, like they they use like prisoners. Fight. Yeah, and like even the, like the ones who were trained who were nice who were like ex military. Yeah, the military training that's now in like today's times is better than back then. But aren't glad weren't gladiators like bigger and stronger though? They were strong, but here's what I think personally. I think back then strength was over like overlooked or not underlooked. Like it was just like, oh, this guy's really strong. But yeah. that really strong guy today would probably be regular. Ah, because they didn't really know about nutrition, how to eat, yeah, how yeah. to lift. Like Navy SEALs, like they do Olympic workouts. Like yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. They're full on athletes. So, whereas oh, okay. you know, so that's what I'm saying. I was gonna, I thought, I thought it was gonna be upset. So I, I'll say Navy SEALs in seven. That's a close series. I think a Navy SEAL is really gonna beat them up. Though. Yeah, I think they're gonna kill them. All right, so now we're going to the semifinal round. Okay, we have the Viking versus the Navy SEALs. I, I, you know what's crazy? Yeah. I take the Navy SEALs. Nah, there's no way, bro. Vikings are the huge. The training, the military training. Yeah, Vi- but that's what that's what I'm saying. Back then, it probably was really huge because of back then, there wasn't that many strong people. Okay, bro. They used so, to get hit. But, okay, go ahead. They were like... Uh, uh, you get Navy finished. SEALs get shot with bullets <laughs> and keep going. Whereas they're getting hit with a slice and keep going, right? Yeah. Get hit with an axe and keep going. And also, in terms of training... Like they're so they're hand to hand combat. How to put like Vikings didn't know how to put somebody in a chokehold. Yeah, they didn't know how to bludgeon somebody to death. Uh, Navy SEAL, str- strong or not, could put you in a chokehold or armbar and eliminate you. You feel me? Wow. That's why I take the Navy SEAL. I'm looking up the average height of Vikings. They were actually five seven. I'm saying I feel like it was overlooked because back then everybody was smaller. Wow. I thought Vikings were freaking like six eight. Yeah, nah. They said the tallest Viking. One of the tallest Vikings was eight foot eight. That's not a Viking. That's a giant. Pose. Yeah, that nigga's but, Oh, wow. So our first upset was the Vikings. So Vikings getting taken down by the I Navy SEALs. Taken down. I didn't know you had Navy SEALs in here. Yeah. Sleeper. Okay, okay. Sleeper. So now we got the two versus three matchup. We got Spartans versus Samurais. Who is winning that matchup? That's a hard one. That's a real hard so one. So I think the culture of both of them puts them so close to each other. Yeah. But I've put Samurais. Really? The reason why is because of the poisonous uh, of their culture in terms of Spartans are like, we're going to fight to the death. We're going to keep going adrenaline. Whereas yeah, yeah. Samurai, they fight. Tactically. With, yeah. They're patients. Yeah. Way more patient in like their, everything about like a Samurai culture. Okay. So that's why I put it. And I think they'll get the edge over that. It's going to go to seven and it's going to end at the, you know what I'm saying? It's at buzzing. the last. At la- you feel me? It's the last. But I think Samurai is going to win it just off of their poisonous Okay. Of, of the, but they both have the culture of like, they get stabbed in the neck. They're both gonna keep going. Ah, I feel get me? you. But I, I just think the poisonous is gonna go. I like that. I like that explanation. Yeah, I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna go. So in the finals, we got U.S. Navy SEALs versus Samurais. Four versus three. Who is winning? 
You ha- the Americans have gotten pretty far, bro. I didn't think they was gonna get this far. God bless America and God bless our troops. Um, Yo, <laughs> I think. Man, I said God bless America. I love America, but hey, man, I don't like you paying know, taxes. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going with. I'm gonna have to go. I think I go samurai. Samurai and very like close decision. Yeah, close because it's the blade tech, blade technicians. They're they're nice. They they know how to use it. And I feel like they're just as smart as like they could be just as smart. Yes, yeah, in, in a way. Yeah, and they're nimble too. It's, Let me see at the normal height of a. Of a samurai, height of a samurai. Yeah, that's a good one though. Height of a samurai. Five foot five. Dang, they're midgets also. Height. Yeah, there's small people. Height of a navy seal. Five nine. Uh, I'm guessing. Hold on. No five, five nine. I'm guessing. Five five six and six four. What? Five six to six four. Oh yeah, I mean. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it depends who they take in. That's yeah. not bad. So Nate, so samurai and what? Six. Samurai, maybe five, six, six, maybe five. Okay, that's cool. I'll take that. Dang, I didn't think the freaking. I didn't think you pick the Navy Seals going all the way, bro. Yeah, Navy Seals. Yeah, they're they're tough, bro. They are tough though. I like I seen them that that train. Everybody sees the train. That junk is crazy, bro. Yeah. They would. I, if I was them, I would. Uh, I mean, you would have to tell them just so they know what they're getting into. I would say not to put that out there so you might yeah. get more people. But, like, that would make you want to that, – that would make more people that are qualified to do it go yeah. and do it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I got a lot – I got a subject subject that we could talk about since we're talking about, like, the government stuff. Mm-hmm. And I know you, lo- you love our government. You love our God country, bless America. But <laughs> I have a lot of – I have a lot of instances where there were a bunch of secret government operations. Mm-hmm. That were either done by the CIA or our government that the people really don't know about. It makes me question what are they doing right now? Right. Right. right? right. So I'm gonna go into so there was so the first thing I want to talk about is there was a social experiment done in the United States with triplets. I don't know if you ever heard about that. You might have seen it's, it before. It sounded familiar, but go ahead. So there was a there was a group of triplets, right, in the early I think in the sixties. Okay. Uh, a teenage girl gave birth to triplets. Okay. And she put them up for adoption immediately. So then a psychiatrist went to the adoption agency and they made a deal where they're going to put one triplet to a different family. Yes. Okay. You've seen yeah. that one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. one triplet was sent to a poor family. Mm-hmm. One triplet was sent to middle class and one was sent to a high class family. And they were studying to see how they acted and how they were like uh, how their behavior was. Right. And over time, they realized like their be- they had like behavioral problems. Like one of them, I think, had depression. Right. And it was just going downhill. Like they just had like their lives kind of booty. Right. And then they found out about each other because they went to college. W- one of them went to college and he seen this guy that looks exactly like him. He was like, hey, man, you kind of look like me. They had the same birthmark. They had the same IQ test. And mm. then they realized they were twins. So then they was like, oh, hold on. And then they, re- they, they was like, hold on. Then they started hanging out together and stuff. Okay. And then they realized, nah, they're not twins. You were a triplet. And then they found another one. And then that's when it got uh, uh, this whole media so hype. So where was the third one? I think <clears throat> I think they, were, they lived in like New York. Okay. So I think they were able... I, when, um, when they found each other in college, it started going through the newspapers. So I guess one of them, the other one found it in the newspapers and seen like, hey, these guys got to look like me. <laughs> and he went to go talk to them, and he they all met up, and I think they made a movie about it or whatever. But th- I think the social experience like messed up with their head for real because like a lot of them had like all of them had like behavioral problems, and like they were like very like either like shy and they didn't really like talk much. All of them had like the same like the same thing. It was different between each of them. I was gonna say because I feel like the one who's like certain like the one who's poor may be like be more depressed the one who's rich maybe less you know what i'm yeah. saying middle I, class may be a little more grateful for stuff i think know? the i think the youngest one or the one that went that got sent to the poor family i think he had depression mm-hmm. and he actually ended up killing himself like towards like i think after when the movie dropped like he just i think he killed himself because he just realized like yeah i was just part of a freaking government like uh, a whole experiment where my brothers had a group, better life than me i could have been picked up damn yeah that's kind of crazy that though. would cook if if you tell me right now I could have been Braun, literally think about it. Somebody, I'm like, you could have been Braun. Why didn't you pick me? To be like Braun? you didn't get picked to be Braun. You get picked to be in the slums working at McDonald's. I got picked to go to Rutgers Newark. You literally, damn. There might be, but like, it's like weird that they always do certain things like that. Yeah. And it's it always comes out years later. Like all this stuff happened in the '60s. I think it's worth. You think it's worth it? What you mean? 
<laughs> nah, I'm. I, I don't know. Some experience because we're never gonna find out this information. It sounds crazy. Some of those exper- experiments. I mean, it sounds bad, but it might help. But really, it could help us determine certain things. I mean, maybe if you want to say it like that. But I like, f- some of these things could end up helping us in the long term. Like, we'll learn about. All right, so is this the reason why your personality is like, is like this? Is it hereditary or is it from your experience? Ah, so maybe that what they learn from that. Like, oh no, this is hereditary. No mm-hmm. matter what, you were born to with an anger like the, problem. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Ah, so so it was good. if you didn't do it back then, because we can't do that now. Oh cool. yeah, no, I yeah. Know. But I'm saying like so some of those things. I don't know. That's why I'm like, free them. Yeah, but it's like it's, but, it's for the greater good. But like I think about that like with like the vaccine, because like okay. Like, what if they, like, I remember the CIA did a vaccine in the Middle East, but they were giving them fake vaccines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they only did that to find Bin Laden. <laughs> like, they literally just took people's blood just to see whose DNA is closest to Bin Laden so they could find him. And it didn't even work. That's why they did, like, they literally went to the Middle East. They was like, oh, we got a vaccine for cholera, whatever, this, that, I and third. I did not know that. But really, it was just to find this nigga. Then they killed him, though. I didn't know they did that. That's tough. You still think they, that's they, a tough plan. You think yo, it's oh, the angle last comp, but that's, that's kind of crazy though. Tough they plan. was literally putting water into their freaking blood. That's a tough plan. It's a tough. Plan. You don't think they killed him? No, I think they killed Bin Laden. Oh, you think that? Yeah, I think he's cooked. I think he's dead. Like you think seal? I don't think. I don't think Hilter. Uh, Hilter. I don't think Hitler died though. I don't think so either. I think he fled. Yeah, he went to Brazil and shit. You heard about like they freaking found like the bones that they said was Hitler's. What it was like a woman? Yeah, it wasn't even him. Shit. So I think. Like and there's also a town. I remember I was watching the Joe Rogan yeah. podcast. There's yeah. like a little town in Argentina where they just speak German. Yeah, like literally in the mountains, like it's and white def- people. Yeah, and they're definitely yeah. Think about it. you're Hitler. You had that much control over the world at the time. Yeah, there's no way you, you didn't don't have, have an escape plan. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no way. And he surrendered out of nowhere. Like there's no way. He already knew that, bro. Uh, yeah, there's no way. It's hey man, somebody somebody seen Hitler come off that plane in and Guatemala say and, and didn't say nothing. nothing. Somebody seen him. They seen that mustache. They're like, well, he might have got popped, but like, still, he's seen him. I don't know. I wonder if he got kids. Darno, that's you? Like, <laughs> like, like hey, man. Uh, you on the newspaper. You on the news. This you? Yeah. Mustache? You don't nah. Know. He starts speaking Spanish to you. That's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. He hit you with the. Porquito. Like, they start saying Make it act like he Mexican and shit. Yeah, that would be, be crazy. That would be OD. That would be OD. Yeah. But I got another. I have another story that I heard. So, um,. Have you ever heard of the freaking, the what the Colombian government did to their people in like the two thousands, bro? No, what did Chapo do? Nah, yo, it's <laughs> so bad, bro. So you know how in Colombia they have like a real big gang problem and like rebel problem. Horrible, yeah. yeah. So back in two thousands, they had the government was trying to control all the rebels and all the gangs in the area with all the drugs and stuff, but they couldn't do it. Right. So they they created a plan where they were gonna create fake jobs, fake companies. In a certain area of Colombia to learn people that were either poor or had mental uh, mental illnesses. Right. And they will they will they will they will learn and be like, hey, they'll send them job offers like, hey, we got this, you can make this amount of money, this and that third. They will kidnap them and they will kill them. And then they will put the the suits of like the gorilla and the rebel people on them to make it seem like they're killing more of the gangs. So they could bring back to the government and be like, Oh, look, we're doing a good job. We're we're holding it down over here. But like the Colombians were doing that? Yeah, the Colombians were doing that. The Colombian government were was kidnapping their people and killing them and making it seem like they were gangs and part of like the guerrilla war guerrilla groups. Oh, putting their stuff on. And put, literally putting the clothes on them just to make it seem like, oh, they're doing a good job in controlling the situation. But really that's it's random people. Yo, as a bad guy, is that smart? Kind of comp. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, kind of comp as a bad guy. Yo, but you are the bad guy, so you shouldn't be doing that. Bro, but that, yeah, it's kind of comp, sick, bro. That's sick as hell, bro. I I'm like, lie. yo, they killed over six thousand people in the span of eight years, bro. Just imagine six. You imagine you get an email right now. They'd be like, yo, you got a job at Google in Guatemala. Let, let's go. You go down. You go there, down there. There's no like, computers. Come on. They just, you start getting jabbed. Yeah, bro. Like, that's old. Like that's really. But yeah, like, yeah. and like they would do that just to get like promotions and other benefits, and they'll make it seem like, yeah, look, we are winning the war, but really it's just all propaganda, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what like 
Half the stuff they be they could do to us, it might be fake, bro. So I stay in America, bro. America, yo, America's even worse, bro. You heard what they did in Guatemala, bro? What? What, what the doing? CIA did in Guatemala? Nah, that's not in America, bro. That's outside America. Bro. Nah, bro, but the CIA is. <laughs> I, I, yo, I forgot the CIA is like OD. No, I never, tough. I never realized how much I want to work for them. No, no, you don't, bro. I try to send you up. Yeah, he, <laughs> nigga wants to sign up. He lying and shit. I, I, I sent it to the website. Sign up, bro. But, he wants to sign up. Bro. So I never knew the CIA. Okay, I always thought I knew. I seen the movies, but I never really understood it. Mm-hmm. So the CIA does a lot of like undercover uh, operations in other countries where if they don't mm-hmm. like the leader of that country, mm-hmm. they create militias and coups to mm-hmm. overthrow that government. I right, think right. Uh, three Americans just got caught in the Congo, <laughs> trying to create like a militia to, to overthrow their president. So. And then I read another, I seen a video and I read an article about how they did the same thing in Guatemala with, have you, you know, you know, bananas, right? Like, you know, everybody knows like the banana companies though. The banana companies, not no bananas. Okay. No, I don't know. But yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, the banana company, like you see that sticker, you always peel that thing off. Yeah. 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 So that company, right. is stationed in Guatemala. So at the time, I think it was in the sixties, there was a president who at the time was trying to give the land back to the people and he was trying to bring up Guatemala and stuff, but they were he was trying to knock out big fruit, like the companies that are investing all their money in the fruit that they're picking out there. He was trying to knock them out of there and like make it for the people. But you know, the the big companies they didn't like that. Right. So big fruit got the CIA and they big made it fruit. That, that's what they're yo, when I seen them, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. So they got they got in contact with the CIA and the government and saying like, oh, they don't like this president. They think he's like a communist and they think that what he's doing is not like beneficial to like the United States and like he might be a threat in the in the coming future. Right. So what they did was they sent the CIA down there to create propagandas and freaking um propaganda campaigns to the rebel groups saying like, yo, we're gonna fund you, take over the country right now. Like, we're going to give you the guns. We're going to give you all the stuff that you need. Take over. Just make sure this president is not president within this amount of time. And they listened. They was like, yeah, I bet. Bro, they over they ran that dude out of the country, and the Americans picked another president yeah, to, to be, put somebody in there. Put yeah. somebody in themselves. And, like, that's why Guatemala is not where they are today. Like, that's why there's so much violence still. And that's why they're still, like, in, like, poverty countries, like, third world countries, because he's doing a terrible job. But, like, that's what America wants. Mm. But, you know, you, that's not crazy, though. It's tough. What if, they, what if they did that in Haiti? Nah, they do that shit to themselves. Oh, I guess the Haitians did that. that shit to themselves. No, yeah. they were tweaking in Haiti, bro. They do be tweaking in Haiti. You, you seen on. that, bro? Kind of like... I mean... Yeah, wait, what are, wait, what are you talking about they did in Haiti? Like, they they didn't like the president of Haiti, so they were like, all right, they the CIA went down there in Haiti, and yeah. like, you know, what's that, what's that, the leader of the gang, Barbecue? His name's like Barbecue, something like that. Nah, I never heard of that. Look, right. look at, look at, his name Barbecue, bro. Barbecue Jimmy. So he's like, so he overthrew like the government in Haiti. Like he made, he killed, they killed the president. And now like all the gangs run Haiti, bro. Like maybe what well, they did that on purpose, bro. I feel like, uh, I feel like America is those people like they really have, we really have like spies like James Bond. Bro, we everywhere, bro. I'd be trying to tell you, bro. That's lit. I'll be a tough job. Maybe I'll do it. No, nah, you ask, bro. You I need, ready. I need military experience for that. You need to be able to run a mile, bro. You can I can run a mile, bro. No, nah, you're not going to run a mile. You don't want to do a physical fitness test, bro. No, Tyrone wants me to go into <laughs> combat training. I'm not doing that. Bro, that's not combat training. I literally said any federal job, you just have to do the PT test. That's not combat training. No, you training. did not tell me the PT test. You said I, I literally did. said that. I said it's a PT test, bro. You said you just have to do pull-ups, push-ups. You have to run. That's it. You have to be physically fit. You're I like, could do that. You talk about I have to go uh, six months away. He was talking about I have to go six much. months away to freaking... uh. Whatever the personal training in the middle of the jungle. Say I don't, no, don't want to go there. Nah, go do it, bro. I'm telling you, it's worth. Nah, it's not. Say worth no. it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Not anymore. Like maybe when I was, maybe if I was a educate, not, trying to hoop. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you trying to. Hoop. Or maybe if I wasn't knowing, you have the will. Kid, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like coming out of high school, when you know those kids be like, "Yeah, how many pushups can you do, man? Let me see your pushups." Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> them kids are so stupid, bro. I hate nah. them ROTC kids, bro. Yeah, get a lanyard, do some pushups. Yeah, 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 yeah. get a lanyard. You get uh, if you do fifty pushups, you get a lanyard, and you can get sent to the army. They just scare them kids, bro. Od. What yes. if what if in America you had to like serve a year in the army, like in other countries? Would you be excited? Yeah, run it up, bro. Really? <laughs> that like, shit, you yeah, run it up. You run, yeah, nah, run that shit up, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you don't have to kill niggas, bro. Oh, I don't, that's niggas true. think military is just pick up a gun and shoot, bro. Actually, there's, that might be kind of fun. That might be yeah, like it's a corporation, bro. We there's office jobs in the military. Bro. 
as long as I get to be stationed with the guys. You just have with the, with the homies, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, I know they do that in like Taiwan and China right just now. Just get a game, bro. The... Yeah, uh, and uh, where is it? Lori Markin is from? Yeah, it's Sweden, maybe? Switzerland. Something. Switzerland, yeah, I one think. Of, one of them shits. There's oh, a lot of countries that really do that. Thank God. Yeah, they do God shit. bless America for real. I'm small shits. They need help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't force me to do that, bro. Yeah, they need but help. I, I, gotta, I actually have another question. Yeah. So, like, if you can switch another action instead of war, like in place of war, what action would you do? So instead of like killing people for war, what action would you put there? Milking them. Milking them? Like, like who can milk the hardest? <laughs> no, or like most. A, say like a, a say. So be, you don't die, but if you get milked, you get shut down. Like you're. Oh, a like it. <laughs> like was, like everybody has a chip, right? Yeah. And it, like then it turns a laser tag. <laughs> so you put a chip If you're in the military You get a chip in your brain Yeah And we all come to agreement Alright cool You get hit with that laser You're you're shut down You just shut down You shut down They bring your body back to base And then you get rebooted you again You're done Cause I was thinking Now you're done You can't serve military anymore oh. And whoever Like chip shut that, shuts down the most You lose the war Okay That sounds That sounds like Elon Musk gonna hear that And be excited yeah. He's gonna <laughs> But I was thinking him. like Like in a way of like A competition based thing So like say like if we're fighting Russia, we'll send our best basketball players to play the Russians. And if we win, then we get the bread. I've seen something on the internet. They said hot dog eating contest. I ain't gonna lie. We're winning everything. Yeah, we eat, bro. We're eaters. That's what I'm saying. Joey Chestnut? Send Joey Chestnut. All right, bro, Putin. You don't want to be with us. You know? All right, Joey Chestnut, go ahead. Eat them dogs, bro. Eat the glizzies. Eat the glizzies. Whatever you got to eat, pause. You know what I think would be good? What? Because fairness... Don't say rock, paper, scissors. Nah, won't be fair. We'll win. Um, <laughs> you know what I'll say? What are you going to say, bro? Roller skating. Why roller skating? Roller skating because everybody can do it. And it's not like we're the best at it. But oh. we really are the most creative. So we're really going to have the edge. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so we're going to be fake nice. Because we got niggas, bro. We're going to have niggas doing flips and shit. Yeah, people in Russia don't really do they that. For real. They do ice skating. Shit, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, no. Nah, the Russians might go stupid because I know they got ice skaters. Because it's, it's cold up there. But nigga, that could translate. N- yeah, it could. But like still though, rollerblading, we got We have that. soul train, nigga. Like, come on, bro. We're good. <laughs> like, like we like Yo, you said we got soul train. Okay. We're set, bro. All right. I like that. I like yeah. the roller skating. Were you, are you nice at rollerblading? No, 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 I suck. You suck? I got ice skating. I can't really hit. Cooked. It's the same thing. Nah, I cooked. I think ice skating is worse, actually. Nah, I cooked. I can't do it. Are you serious? Yeah, like, if yeah, yeah. like if you try to bring a girl roller skating, it's like embarrassing? I would never try that. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't even do it. Like, like I used let's to be- go roller skating. No. Really? I won't go. I'll go and watch it. I'm like... Wow. I mean, I'll hop on it. I'll just stand there with them. I won't roll around. Like, because, like, when you go roller there's always those tryhards that be in the middle that do the dances, like, Dancing, roll jumping and shit. Yeah, I don't do that, but I like, ice skate. But, like, it's the same thing, Ty. You literally just, it's the same motion. It's actually worse. So, what if you put roller blades on that look like ice skates, but it's wheels? Oh, look, they look the same. (laughs) Like, you know how, like, there's some roller blades that have, like, it's like, it's not like, like four, but it's like four in a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably be nice at that. No, no, no. Really? No, I roll an ankle in that shit, man. We got to try that. Let's go roller skating. No regular roller skating, people. Let us know if you want (laughs) that. No regular roller skating. No regular roller skating. Let us know if you want that. But, uh, I got a what are the oh, I got some other questions that we could talk about. So someone's giving you ten million dollars to go back in time to recreate an iconic moment in history. Like you have to do exactly what they did. So if it was George Washington, you have to fight a battle of the war. You have to mm-hmm. win. What moment are you choosing for that ten million dollars? Um, I, I already have one off the top of my mind. I have to like win it. I have to do the same thing. It could it could be anything. It could just be like you can go back and Boston Tea Party. Oh, so you could <laughs> so you just gonna throw the throw the tea Tweaking, over. Tweaking, yeah, that's man. a good one. I I'm ain't gonna nice. lie. Yeah, I'm nice. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm trading places with Rosa Parks. What is wrong with you, bro? What? You know how many times she had to avoid getting lynched? I don't think you're that comp. Wait, what do you mean? She just had to say no. Nah, she like. Went to jail and shit. Oh, she did. Yeah, <laughs> oh, shit. she just did that. Like, all right, go home. Like, no, she went to jail. And I shit. thought she. I thought she just sat in the front of the bus and was like, she go served, in the back. No, she served time for that. shit. And then, and then people seen it like, okay, damn, I'm going to jail. Nah, bro. Nah, she could do it. She, I could do that. Go to jail? No. Never mind. I don't want to do that no more. Yeah, bro. Um, I'm just gonna. Be a patriot and toss tea off of her. 
Maybe I'll go back and maybe I'll be Wilt and go back and score fifty a game. Nah, you're not seven three, bro. I you're can score fifty in that league, bro. You could actually. You got I can. They're, no, they're gonna could, look at could. me like a wizard, bro. No, you could. You could. They think I'm doing witchcraft. Ah, they'll moves. lynch you, cause. Oh God. Because you're like you're like beat upable. Oh, like Wilt is that Wilt better? Wilt not beat up Wilt. <laughs> like, you needed like five guys to do that. <laughs> they could stop Wilt? Yeah, you could stop Wilt on or off the court. You could stop you off the court. Off the court. Yeah. <laughs> you can get up. my They'll ass. You pushing to the ground and keep going. <laughs> like, yeah. Yo. Yeah, stop dribbling, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, you're cooking. You're cooking. You're cooking. Man, so, nah, cook, the Boston Tea Party is crazy. Yeah, the Boston Tea Party. I'm just tossing tea. Hey, yo. Yeah. Uh, that's a good idea, though. Yeah, I'm Smart man. Me. Smart man. Yeah, bro. Oh, man. I'm mad though. I couldn't think of anything better than that. Yeah. Because you literally just. But wait, didn't it uh, get arrested? Could you? Who? I could just see your big yeah, ass. Just, it was everybody, bro. It was a protest. Like, everybody's talking. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> they ain't gonna fuck. They'll be happy as hell. But yeah, we got niggas with us too. Huh? <laughs> you, know what I mean? you just keep tossing the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just keep tossing the team. Like, I was like, oh shit. It's like, hey, this nigga, help. hey, hold some more. I bet. Huh. Huh. Tell me now, niggas. So, yeah. Uh, OD, you might take some to the crib. Like, <laughs> I say worth it, bro. That's tough. Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, man. That's funny as hell, bro. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, You got any other topics you want to talk about? Or you want me to go me, with one last topic? Let me see if I had, this, I had one in here, kid. Okay. Because the NBA Finals is on right now, people. We try to get, we we trying to get out of here. No, I'm saving that one. No, I ain't got no more, cousin. You want to end it or you want me to go with this one last topic? Because we had uh, a... I'm going to save this one. Cause I might save this one also. I think I'm gonna save this one. All right, I got the last. I'll do the last. All right, one. you can do the last one. What places on Earth do you feel mm-hmm. have the worst aura? What places on Earth? So for me, it, like initially, like where I go off of, yeah, like worst aura. I'm gonna go Atlanta. <laughs> I don't give a damn what y'all gotta say about this shit. <laughs> Atlanta. So I'm gonna go Atlanta because I go down there and it's just straight like, it just. <sighs> It just screams rapper. It screams rapper. It screams. <laughs> it, it screams like young nudie. It doesn't. It doesn't it like. And it gives off like if you're a visitor. Yeah. It's like, what the heck? Why is everybody loitering everywhere? Yeah, yeah. They this isn't just, really that lit. It's like a big. And hood. it's not even that lit. And then it's like a big hood, the big ass hood. But it like besides like the main city area. Yeah. Everything else is like a rural suburban hood, and it's like this isn't that great. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's not that tough. Like. Like what? Like what? It's only tough because so many people are from there. Yeah, it's <laughs> and it just feels bad if you live there. Yeah, a high aura amongst your own people, but they're nah. They're just visiting. Uh, yeah, visiting is not a good. Nah, I'm that's not actually that. true. Cause I went, when I went to Atlanta with Jay last year, I always just felt like out of place. Like weird. In, in New York, it's like people. You are you already know people are always assholes and whatever. Yeah. But it's like down there, it's just like it seems like everybody is either like high or off perks. Yo, like seriously, like yeah. it's just like everybody look like they look like they they lean in and like yeah. they look like they all high. They all got dreads. They also there. mad too, so it don't make yeah, sense. Yeah, always mad, yeah. angry. It's like I don't know, but I'm gonna one up you, Philly. Oh. I was gonna say, I Philly. think Philly is very like, like it's just not but there. It's just I feel mid. like. Like I feel like that. Like so, the, here's why I give. I I I I don't think Philly's that bad, because the white people in Philly. I was gonna say that I fuck. I, I, was, yeah, I was gonna say. I'm about to say I fuck with my the, white niggas the in Philly. The white people in Philly kind of cool. Yeah, they kind of funny. They, they, all they like, cool. Even though they like, they like. Like you know where fans. like the Sixers, like the stadium, the three stadium yeah. area. That's just a busting ass area. Yeah, yeah. And then there's bars over there. Like it's cool. Yeah. I mean, also like Philly itself, like the, the casinos. Like it's cool because like. They have their own culture that's fun. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, ah, Philly has the ghetto, but as a, as a whole, I don't think Philly's you like don't low. You think so? I think, I think Atlanta's low. I was just saying because I feel like I go... Because there's nothing to look forward to. I Atlanta. feel like if I go to Philly, I see a lot of dudes that try to be... Now, I'm not saying they try to be cool, but it's like their cool is a little outdated. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's always outdated. It's, it's behind as so, fuck. It's like, it's, like, OD. it's like their timeline is so yeah, behind. Bro, like they yeah. be wearing joggers and... You know what else is bad? Where? Which is definitely Camden. Oh, yeah. Camden, New Jersey. Saying. It's Horrible. like, oh, it's like they still be wearing joggers. They still be wearing tight pants with the little biker, the biker jeans yeah. with the ripples in the thing. Yeah, it's bro. like they don't really got like the swag is kind of off. They got Under Armour on. I mean, Under Armour cool, but it's like, it's like it just they look, they look like they trying too hard. Yeah, it, and it's, it's that, like they trying too hard to look different, but it don't look it's good. Re- yeah, it don't look good. It, yeah, it's weird. That's yeah. the only thing. But like other than that, Philly type cool. Yeah, Philly's all right. Yeah, another one. Another here. one I got Des Moines, Iowa. 
I never been in Des Moines, but I just feel like nah, they, you're nah. That was just a hater ass comment. What you mean? Yo, if you live in Iowa, <laughs> if you live in Des Moines, I'm so sorry, bro. <laughs> why did you? Just, why did they catch that stray? <laughs> No, you've you you know what you've heard of this place. When I <laughs> no when I think of Des Moines, Iowa, I think of like tall grass and yellow. I just think of grass yellow. That's not a vibe though. I, I'm thinking about now. I love that. I love the country. That's good aura. That's a vibe. I love the country. There's different auras. You feel me? Like I just want to look like I'm in a in a Disney Channel movie, like Hannah Montana movie. That's what I'm saying. I think that's tough then. So don't disrespect okay, Des Moines, Okay, let me bro. take that back for these niggas tweak on you. Like, I feel like I feel like the the best auras is like Tennessee. Yeah, yeah that has the most. That has the most. We yeah. that was the other one was lowest. Yeah, Atlanta was the lowest. That has the most. Yeah, I think. The, yeah, I think the one place with the best is like somewhere in Tennessee, not Montana. No, Montana. Yeah, but no, <laughs> no. I think Tennessee because I feel like it's a it's country and city like, but like the country it just like. I, like, like you know, remember, you ever watched the Hannah Montana movie where she went back home? Yeah, yeah. And like yeah. she's riding a horse, but I'm like, damn, bro, that looked tough. She did that in Montana, by the way. No, she didn't. Yeah, she was from Montana. She's from Tennessee. Damn. Just because it was Hannah Montana, don't mean she was from Montana. Montana. I think I think my cousin is is actually moving to Montana. From she lives in uh, Virginia. Cool niggas, bro. Like she like she has a boyfriend who's like a like a ski and snowboarder. Like I don't know if he's professional, but he's tough. Okay. But like I heard, there's like mountains out there in Montana. Yeah, hella mountains. So like he's gonna be snowboarding, shredding up out there. Hella land. I want to go there. I want. I want. Let's. What's a random state you always want to go to? Montana. Um, Idaho. Re- oh, why for the potatoes? Nah, they fries must be busted. Cause I don't know what Nebraska. I'm not even like Nebraska specifically for the corn. No, I have no. They have corn there. Why do you know that? Corn Huskers. The Nebraska Corn Huskers. That's the name. That's equivalent to the Union Farmer. That's literally us. <laughs> Why did, did you just quote a random high school? <laughs> the Nebraska no, Corn that, Huskers? No, that's Nebraska University. They're the Corn, Hus- Corn Huskers. Like Nebraska University. No, that's as. I know. That's names. You know what I want to go to? I, well, I've been there. Like, I feel like either. I, this is kind of bad. West Virginia. But they're yeah, really. I heard they're racist. I know they're really racist. I heard they're racist. As fuck. They're really racist. Like they're super like racist. over the top racist. Like they might, I might run to the wrong town. It'll be like get strangers cooked. all over again. Yeah, and get cooked. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, but like I just feel like the mountains just look tough. Somewhere, maybe, maybe like maybe Maine. Go to the edge of Maine where like that lighthouse is, and just like right. vibe out right, with right. The, with the lobster roll busting. Maine is cool. Maybe. Us, yeah, close to Canada. It's cold, May- though. I, oh, oh, another place I think got bad or maybe Rhode Island. I think Rhode Island mid as hell. I feel like there's nothing good in Rhode Island. You can't tell me. I feel like Rhode Island is like, like I, I don't even know. I can't even tell you. It's like one township. Literally, I feel like it's like, I feel like it's like Camden in a state, as a state. Like, I feel like that's how mid they are. I'm going to go there. One day. Prove you wrong. But it's just, a, <laughs> just I don't know what they wrong. have. They might have like a singular boat. <laughs> like, but you just gotta prove. I feel like Rhode Island has every like one of everything. What they have mean, one like, Chipotle, <laughs> like, like one food place. Like they, they have one Chipotle. They have one high school for the entire state. Because <laughs> like, they are the one state, university, right? Rhode Island University. That's it. No, oh, they also have Providence. I forgot Providence was in nah. Rhode Island. <laughs> so Providence is better than University of Rhode Island. I heard yeah. in basketball. But I, I would also like to go to Colorado. That's the main place Colorado I always want to go to. I want to go to Denver, yeah, yeah. I just feel like, one, Denver Airport. I heard there's a lot of crazy conspiracy about there. I want to see if it's actually true. And I just want to see the weird shit. And also, two, I want to. I, I just feel like in the Alps, it just looks mad tough. I do want to go to the Alps, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I wanna, me and Jake are going to go get a cab, cab in there one day, bro. That's my goal. Like, if I get once, once the money up. The Alps is in Colorado? I think so. Nah, no way. I'm looking it up. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Where is the Alps? I don't know. Man, that shit is in Europe, bro. <laughs> Man, Damn. The Alps are in Switzerland. Dang. Where the heck is in Colorado? What mountain is in Colorado? Like, what famous... Gila? Colorado Mountain. Colorado Mountain? Say, no, I don't know. The What's, Rockies. The Rockies? I mean, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm go, I'll go there. I feel like it'll be mad fun, bro. I feel like it's just like woods. I feel like the air is, air is fresher up there. Because, you know, we got the smog out here and pollution. It suck over here. You can't breathe and shit. No, the, yeah, air thin up there, yeah. But I think I'll go to one of those states. I want to go to Nebraska. Nebraska's maybe if okay Perfect if you want to pick Nebraska, bro. I'll pick Kansas. Mess around, see a tornado. First that's th- not worth it. 
That's not worth it. No, that's not worth <laughs> the it. First time I see a, a, a tornado. I don't think that. Like, you know what's crazy? I never seen, like, when I'm walking through the airport, I never see a flight to Kansas. I've they don't been, got airports. <laughs> there, there's, no, <laughs> there's no way. Imagine a tornado hit an airport. No way. Imagine. That is true. What, like, they just fly to, you got to fly to Missouri. No, there's no way. They got to have one they airport. They fly somewhere else. Like, no, Kansas they have City. To, they have to, they have to, they have to. That's OD. I know, I, okay, I might have seen Kansas City, but I don't know about Nebraska. There's, there's probably very little people there. They're probably flying Spirit or yeah. or Virgin Mobile Airlines. <laughs> something. They're flying something, but mm-hmm. it ain't United. But yeah. you got anything else you want to talk about, brother? No, that's it. Hey, man. Thank you again for pulling up to the podcast, bro. Like, like always, man. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe down below. Post notifications, like the video, comment, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You guys watch us. There's, a, there's hundreds of y'all that watch us every week. Why don't we get hundreds of likes? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, we get like 20, 30 likes. That's crazy. 30 of y'all like the video? It's all free. Subscription's free. But you know what Same. else? You, I like it. It's free too. It's all free, bro. But you yeah. know what isn't free? Patreon. But we also got free. I want to shout out everybody on our Patreon. Let me go get my iPhone. You know what else isn't free? Your grandma dying if you don't subscribe. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, it, that, it isn't free. That is, Who just texted me? Hold on. Let's read this text message out loud. Somebody's grandpa because they mad their wife died. Yo, it's a way... Who is this? Oh, I know who this is actually. This the thing is, I think that's Trav. But um, so like we always do, we're gonna shout out everybody on our Patreon who subscribed to our Patreon. Shout out to all y'all who subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, we have a free tier where you get, you know, not really as much, but you get a shout out and you get ten minutes of some of our exclusive episodes. Three minute tiers. If you got the not three minutes, we got the three dollar tiers. $5 tiers and $10 tiers. If you really want the bang for your buck, you go for the 5 or $10 tiers. That's where you get two new episodes every month. And if you're in the $10 tier, you get one, two episode, two free episodes a month and a bonus content episode where we're going to start doing more things out there. We might be doing, we're going to be doing mukbangs, reaction videos. We're going to be doing all that on Patreon, people. So tune into that. So let's just, let's shout out everybody on the Patreon so we can get up out of here. So first off, for our free subscribers, we're going with, Shout out to everybody who is subscribed for free on Patreon. We got New, Na DeShiel, Isabel Graham, Rob Quash, um, Jalen Strong, DJ Willis, Raymond Padilla, Leek, Alyssa Smith. Hold on. I got to go back. There's a lot of y'all. Um, Alyssa Smith. Uh, Laquell Ingram. Laquell, who are you? That's a crazy name. Boy, look well. I want to know where you're from. Uh, Tyrone Bowens, he's right here. Corey Petty, King Fry, and Tamia. Shout out to y'all for subscribing for free. And we got the set. We now we got the people who are in the five dollar tiers. We got DJ Khalid, Leland Poole, and Muhammad. Shout out to y'all for subscribing. Leland we have Poole. Shout good to, guy. Shout. Oh, he hit you up. He's a good guy. He's just a good guy. I know he's a good guy. Exactly, brother. So shout out to you, man. Shout out to y'all. We got more stuff going on Patreon coming up soon. We got adventure vlogs coming out soon. Tune into that. And like I said, bro, enjoy it. Thank you for joining the podcast. We out of here. We different. They're regular regulars, man. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.